Okay, what's going on guys? How you doing? Welcome to my stream and game replay. I'm Dave the Usher and the game we're playing is The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky uh, And this game I believe was well, it was released on Steam. That's the version I'm playing But I think it was released on PS3 and uh, PSP I think you know maybe among others or I'm sure I'm shooting in the ballpark there so yeah the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky is a game my wife just got me recently. She thought I would dig it. So I'm going to I'm going to get a shovel out and I'm going to start digging, man. We'll we'll see what happens, you know. We'll see if I'm going to be digging it or not. Uh people joining, you can uh, fill me in if you want, man. I'm sure some of you have played this game, Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. I might shorten it up Trails in the Sky. That's fine. Some of you may have played Trails in the Sky, and if you have, you know, I'm interested in your um, feedback, comments, all that stuff, you know. I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of in-chat responding to you, but I can see the chat, and I will respond. Some of you, of course, may be watching this later on YouTube. And, as always, if you do miss some of the stream, I will upload all of it in its entirety on my YouTube channel uh, under Dave the Usher. That's my YouTube channel, of course. So, let's go! <clears throat> I'm gonna start things off here. The options are like set up already to my preferences, I believe. I hope we're gonna have some problems. Yeah, so let's start, man. I hear the game's good. Uh, and the game might have like a long kind of intro, but I hear the game's quite good. So we'll see. You've played some, says Hotshot. Uh, remember to always do side quests ASAP. W why? Why? What happens if I don't? What'll happen? What'll happen? Hmm? <laughs> Alright. Uh, no. I'm gonna do Nightmare. No, I'm not. <laughs> there's no easy? I like how there's no easy. I mean, whatever. So, some of you may not be familiar with me. And if you're not, uh, I don't like to talk during cutscenes. But this is a game of text reading. And I do like to read... Uh, text during uh, during the dialogue <coughs> oh boy and I think this game has a long intro so this could be uh, something I'm just looking for a game with good story and not over complicated BS and Hotshot responded by the way and said eventually the side quest will be locked out from you due to story events oh yeah that, yeah, that makes sense okay thank you good to know <coughs> so here we go hmm Daddy's really late. I even got a message from the guild saying he'd be home today, too. I haven't played this game at all ever, by the way. I think that's pretty apparent. And I also came prepared for the long dialogue scenes, as you can as you can see. That's No, no, that's not my urine. I will go up to go to the bathroom if I have to. This is, uh, this is tea. Peach mango tea, to be, uh, precise. <laughs> kind of... I think people might be like, oh, God, Dave, you're going to the bathroom? You're... That's commitment, man. What, are you playing Desert Bus? That's a good idea. Okay. Remember the Desert Bus walkthroughs? Okay, but let's let's get into this now. Cher has gone traveling around the kingdom on some kind of training. <clears throat> I'm so bored. Maybe I'll just practice with my staff a bit more before dinner. Hey, I'm home. Daddy! Sorry to have kept you waiting, Estelle. Did you take good care of the house while I was away? <laughs> of course I did. Did you run into any trouble, Daddy? You didn't get hurt fighting the bad monsters, did you? <laughs> nope. I'm as fit as a fiddle. That reminds me, though. I brought you a present. Really? What kind of present? <clears throat> a new fishing pole? Sneakers? Something for my training? Uh, maybe I raised you wrong, Estelle. Aren't little girls supposed to like clothes and jewelry? I like pretty clothes, but they just get dirty. And jewelry breaks when you play outside with it on. I think I like Estelle. Anyway, Daddy, what's with the big blanket? Is that my present? Oh, you're a sharp one. Now, why don't you come have a look? What? Well, 
here you are. Quite a handsome boy, don't you think? What? What? Kid? Why is my present a boy? Don't make such a fuss or you'll wake him up. Wake him up? You mean he's still alive? Looks kind of dead if you ask me. I've treated his wounds, so he should be in stable condition. In the meantime, however, we'll need to let him rest. I'll put him in the bed so you wouldn't mind he uh, heating up a kettle of water on the stove. I'd appreciate it. Or some tea. Or some tea, Estelle, that looks like urine, but is not urine. Okay! <laughs> He's sure sleeping soundly. And he almost looks the same age as me. Hmm. This is the first time I've ever seen black hair like that, too. It's blue. Looks blue to me. He certainly does have a nice head of dark hair. And a pair of amber eyes to go with it. Hmm. Uh, that's nice and all, but how do you come clean and... Why don't you come clean and fess up? Fess up? Yeah. Who is this kid anyway? And why is he hurt? Why didn't you bring him to our house? Is he an illegitimate child or something? Did you betray mommy? <laughs> Where have you been picking up these kinds of words? No doubt from Sherazard, I assume. Yep, that's right. Oh, for heaven's sake. That girl is going to get me in the trouble one of these days with all her nonsense. Actually, I just met this boy while I was out on business. And I don't even know his name. You mean bracer business? Something like that. Oh, look. Huh? He's waking up. Hmm. Wow, his eyes really are the color of amber. What? Where am I? So, you're awake now, are you? Welcome to my humble home. You'll be safe here, so please just try to rest. What, what are you trying to pull? Huh? You must be out of your mind. Why, why didn't you just leave me there to die? Why? Now that's a question I don't know how to answer. Does things just worked out that way work for you? Don't, don't toy with me, Cassius Bright. And do you have any idea what you're getting yourself involved in? Hey! You're sure shouting a lot for someone who's supposed to be hurt. Run in your mouth like that, it's just gonna make it take longer for your body to heal. And just, who are you supposed to be? I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. She's my daughter. Don't you remember me telling you that I have a daughter your age? Now that you mention it... Wait a minute, don't try and change the sub... Ow! Quit yelling! All right, all right already. But you jumping on me like that isn't gonna make me heal any faster either. I don't hear you yelling again, do I? Look, jumping on me like that is just gonna make things worse. Do I hear yelling? <sighs> Never mind, just, just forget it. As a word of advice, it would be wise not to argue with Estelle while you're in this house. Even I wouldn't stand a chance if I made her mad enough. Yeah, I can see that. By the way, aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Your name! You know, that thing people call you? I told you mine already, but I don't think it would be unfair and impolite not to tell me yours. Um... It seems like the logical thing to do if you ask me. Trying to hide it now would only serve to, serve to your detriment. Fine. My name is... Do we get to name him?
So there was our intro there. Looks like it's done. Uh, so that intro was nice. You know what that intro means, don't you? That means this video won't be monetized on YouTube. In fact, o the only way to ensure that was to have some chick singing a song about stuff. <laughs> no way in hell would there be monetization. And nowadays, you know, this game is like a couple years old now, but man, like now in 2016, I th every game has a big fancy intro now. They they know, they know why they're doing it. They want to ensure no monetization unless you get rid of it entirely. Okay, anyway, my wife's in the chat, by the way. You can't see that, of course, unless you're watching the uh, Twitch stream. Anyway, uh, let's start things here. It's so bright in here. Oh! I slipped like a rock. Hmm. That must mean it's Dad's turn to cook this morning. I wonder if that means Joshua's still in bed. Ah, I guess that's a no. Well, I guess I better get myself ready then, too. Nice, Joshua. Bravo. Good morning, Estelle. I hope I didn't wake you. Yeah, I was already up when I heard you start to play. Can't believe how awake you are, though. Even the roosters still have bags under their eyes. Not that I mind with that siren song of yours getting gently lulling this beautiful woman from her slumber. What do you mean, woman? We're the same age, and I'm hardly a man. <laughs> How wrong you are, Joshua. We may be the same age, but I am clearly THE woman of the house. And that makes you something like my loyal follower, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How fortunate for you. You could at least try and sound a tiny bit sincere. It really is a nice tune, though. Cheerful, yet somehow wistful. I like your other songs, too, of course, but this one's my favorite. Uh, what's it called again? The Whereabouts of Light. Ah, oh, that's right, The Whereabouts of Light. I wish I could play the harmonica like you, Joshua. Sadly, it's a lot harder than it looks. Compared to what it takes to use a staff, uh, I think the harmonica is much easier. It's really just a matter of concentration. You're probably right. I guess my problem is just that I, I don't do something that uses my whole body. Or if I don't do something that uses my whole body, I start to feel drowsy. Excuse me, Joshua. By the way, can I just say Josh? Actually, you know what? I think I prefer Joshua. Josh. Our, one of our main heroes is named Josh. Hey, Josh. Nah. Joshua, right, everybody? What do you think? Do I? Is there a Joshua watching? Josh watching? So once again, for people coming in late, have you guys uh, played this game? You know? I'm interested in knowing. You know, any of uh, Trails in the Sky uh, players? Or maybe even just watchers, if you've, like, seen some of the game before. You know? Give me your opinions in the chat or in the comment section. Okay, playing the harmonica is fine and all, but how about getting some exercise, too? All your hobbies are sitting around kind of stuff, like reading and music. No girl is going to be impressed with just that. Well, excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies. Although, I feel like I should be the one lecturing you about your hobbies. I mean, what kind of boy wants a girl who loves fishing and collecting bugs and has a fetish for sports shoes? Ugh. That's enough talk about hobbies for now. And for your information, I graduated from bug collecting a long time ago. <laughs> really? I'll believe that when I stop finding beetles in the hallway. Hey, Estelle! Joshua! 
I believe my car is ready. It's done being serviced. Well, that call will just have to wait for later. Morning, Dad! Good morning, Dad. Is breakfast ready? It's ready and waiting. Why don't the both of you hurry on down before it gets cold? For those of you who are just joining, I'm playing The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. This is on Steam, Steam version, but I believe the game was released on the PS3 and PSP? Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm on my way. And we're just starting off here. Thanks for the grub, Dad. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you eating or inhaling, Estelle? My wife complains, or I don't know, points out that I'm a fast eater and I inhale my meals. Ty, you in the chat still? How fast do I eat my meals? Now, Ty, on the other hand, Ty likes to make a nice bowl of soup, you know, like some ramen or udon noodle soup or whatever, whatever kind of soup she's doing. And then she likes to let it sit for two hours and let it get cold and then eat it. I don't know. <laughs> she eats very slowly. We're the polar opposites uh, when it comes to eating. My wife will also probably make a comment. She says I don't taste my food. Hey, why don't you make a comment now about my sweet tooth? <laughs> like, like people say, kids who eat and sleep a lot grow a lot. Well, make sure you get enough to eat, but don't forget to pour that energy into your work, too. That reminds me, you two are finishing up your training at the guild today, aren't you? Oh, no training. Makes or breaks me. That's right. I'll be, uh, a rev It'll be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. And once we're finished, we'll be bracers, just like you, Dad. That means I'm not gonna gonna let you treat me like a kid anymore either. You still lack understanding, Estelle. You can only become a junior bracer in the beginning, or in other words, a trainee. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you should work extra hard in your training to become a full-fledged bracer. Well, I'm not afraid of a little hard work. Just you watch and see what I'm capable of, Dad. I'll be so successful that it won't be long before I pass you too. <laughs> That's the spirit. Let's see what you're made of then, shall we? Let's not start a rivalry here, you two. Unless it's full of sugar, then you taste and inhale it all. My wife says, I had soup today. What did everyone else have for... Ty Ty's asking about everyone's food. Uh, if you're watching later, what did you eat today? And uh, she's asking everybody. <laughs> and I'm seeing cold pizza. And Estelle, keep your focus on the task at hand. We have a test later on the day, remember? Huh? Wait, what test? I kind of like Estelle, actually. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm driving with her, you know? I agree. Test? What the... Oh, good, a test. Mm. Please, tell me that you didn't forget about the test, Estelle. You know, the one that checks whether or not we've mastered the skills we've been learning and training? Don't you remember Shara saying that if we failed, we'd be stuck with a ton of extra homework? Crap. Totally forgot. Now that you mention it, I guess I kind of remember her saying something like that. Don't sweat it. I'm sure we'll manage somehow or other. I honestly don't know how you've survived this long, Estelle. Your brain is like a sieve. Papa is sad. He just referred to himself in the third per- Papa is- Papa is sad! No, hey, Papa, don't talk like that. Cassius. Ugh. Papa is sad. How could any child of mine end up with such a careless, over-optimistic personality? Ha! <laughs> You're the one that raised me, so I definitely got it from you! I swear, the two of you act so much alike, but whatever. We should probably head over to the guild soon, Estelle. Cher is gonna be waiting there for us. Sounds like a plan. You know how crazy, scary she gets when someone keeps her waiting. Oh, before I forgot, it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. Is there anything in particular you'd like to eat, Dad? Any requests? Hmm, something I'd like to eat, huh? about... Rollins-style scallop scallop scalloped fish and a balsamic vinegar sauce. 
What's that? I think that's a little more than Estelle's cooking skills can handle. Or our stomachs. You're right. I just wanted to see what kind of reaction I could get. I'll just have the usual fried fish and omelet. No need for anything fancy. But do try to make something edible. <laughs> How rude. But I can't actually say he's wrong. Actually, I do have one favor to ask you before you head out. I'd like for you to pick up a copy of the liberal news from the general goods store. They're supposed to be getting the latest edition in today. Got it. One copy of the liberal news from the general goods store. <clears throat> Mira, huh? Is that our money? If there's any money left over, you can have it as your allowance. However, that means no wasteful spending. Hmm. All right. Thanks, Dad. Let me control! Okay, we're heading out now. See you later, Dad. Work hard and give Sherazard my regards. Sheraz Sherazard? Charizard? These names. Uh, someone is asking uh, what this game plays like. I saw some pictures, like battle stuff, and I kind of thought it had... You guys can tell me if like I'm right or wrong or if you disagree. I thought the battle style or whatever had kind of a Final Fantasy Tactics setup. Yeah? Yeah, does that does that make sense? Does that work for you? <clears throat> so I was kind of into that. So uh and someone also brought up Saga Frontier, a game I don't I didn't really play too much. It's kind of been on my bucket list. It's a game I feel like it slipped through my uh playing fingers and I remember seeing the demo, but I was too busy with Final Fantasy VII. Bushido Blade and Final Fantasy Tactics at the time. So many, so much Squaresoft going on that, you know, no Saga Frontier. Was that the, was that it on the demo, the VHS demo I got? Was there one more Squaresoft game? It was all Squaresoft games. I think, I can't remember if there was one more. Oh well. By the way, Dad, is it gonna be alright if you stay at home like this instead of going to the guild today? You haven't been there for a couple days now. Unfortunately, I have a lot of paperwork to sort out. But don't you worry, I'm carrying a big enough workload that's that the guild's not likely to fire me anytime soon. It's not exactly the most convincing thing I've heard come out of your mouth. Can I talk? So, uh, I can't talk to him. Uh, all right, so movement is rather quick. If I control with the directionals, it's more walking though. Can I check items? Okay, that button. So this is our menu. All right, Estelle, Joshua, status, equip, orbman. This is gonna be customizing magic stuff, I assume. Uh, oops, and items. Ooh, it's got a memory there. Items, tactics, option, files, tactics. Character position, battle position. Okay, options, uh, all right, that stuff. Files, this is our saving and loading and all that stuff. Hey Dave, when are you gonna play more Life is Strange? Eh, you know, the game's probably fine and good, but you know, man, there's so much. Uh, not only is there so much that I'm streaming constantly, uh, I don't even know if my wife are ever gonna honestly get back to Parasite Eve. Um, I want her to play Firewatch with me on a stream. Uh, she got me this game, I'm checking it out. You know, there's too many goddamn games. Um, three projects, three games, I mean, come out in the next... Like, in June and July, about three games come out I want to make walkthroughs of. We'll see how that goes. You know? Aha, uh -huh, it is like Final Fantasy Tactics. Y you think? I just remember being confused by Saga Frontier. Yeah, so I don't know about Life is Strange. There's a standing log for staff practice. I don't think there's a jump button. L. Ah, moving the camera angle. Back and forth, back and forth. Map. Options button is crazy map. Okay. I did read, you know, little reviews on this though. Um, I hear it's a great game. It maybe it starts out slow, and I'm very worried about that. Um, uh, 
but we'll see. Is that it there? Maybe. Bailey, Lulu. Yeah, where are they? There are no dog cam. <laughs> Is my wife still in the, the chat? Ty, are you still there? What do you think so far? My wife is a good chat mediator, moderator, and conversationalist. Uh, we're supposed to go to Roland. 49 Selge? What the, what the hell is that? Right now, sir. Estelle, Roland City is in the opposite direction. You're not sleepwalking again, are you? How about you just be quiet and keep your comments to yourself? Kinda wish there was a jump button. I don't know why. I always want a jump button now. But, um... Probably not necessary. So this is City of Roland. Looks like we made good time. Not too early or too late, either. We just barely graduated from Sunday school. I never dreamed we'd have to study so hard to become bracers. Well, you're in luck. Today is our last day of training. Truth be told, though, you're the one who signed up to be the bracer in the first place, so I don't know why... I don't know what you'd expect to get away with any... Why you would expect to get away with less any less effort. Shit, damn it. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Alright then. Let's get to it and make it through this last hazing from Shara. You look ready to me. Let's go meet with Shara at the Bracer Guild. Over there then. Hmm. <laughs> Navigating around here. Oh, Estelle and Joshua. Good morning, Uni. Aren't Luke and Pat with you today? They were here just a minute ago. The two of them suddenly took off and went somewhere. I, you know, I like talking to NPCs and all, but hey, we'll see how that goes, man, because... Okay, well, of course, I don't know anything about this game. I haven't played it ever until right now. Can I change the... Yeah, maybe not now. Um, I'm used to L going the other way, I think. I think. <laughs> Camera, free rotation. Menu button. I don't think there's anything I can do. It's a minor annoyance, kind of. Orbal factory. Maybe I should go in there. Is there like an extra star blinky thing on the map? No, it doesn't look like it. All in due time. Good morning, Claire. Good morning, Estelle and Joshua. Did the two of you really become bracers? What? How did you know? That's because working in the media is my future goal. I'm gonna join the liberal news service and work as a reporter. Don't take my information lightly, either. Oh, sure thing. My gut feeling says that the two of you are going to be in the tabloids. <laughs> well, thanks. Isn't it romantic that you, that you two lovers are bracers who stand for justice? I have this feeling that a juicy drama is about to unfold. L lovers? <laughs> Joshua and I aren't lovers, we're family. You really don't understand anything, Estelle. Joshua's adopted, and things could go either way in the future, right? Is this a JRPG? Because then it makes sense. Plus, leaving it at that would surely please the readers. R readers Anyway, I'm looking forward to the both of you in more ways than one. Okay, kid, who's younger than us, because it's like... No... Half the body size, practically. Uh, so, so let's go to the cafe. Yeah, it's a good idea. 
I would like a cappuccino. Wholesome pasta, 100 Mira. I don't think we need... I'm not spending any of my Mira. I ain't spending my Mira. I was hope... I wanted to get yelled at to get out of here. Yo, Estelle and Joshua. Aren't you a pair of early birds today? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Denzel. In response to the request of my customers, I started offering breakfast. Today's special is wholesome pasta. Don't tell my wife that she's a pasta fiend. Ty, are you a pasta fiend? <laughs> it's superbly al dente. I, we, pro oh, we need to get a paper and maybe food for the dad, right? Welcome. Oh, Estelle and Joshua. It's been a while, hasn't it, Elisa? <clears throat> Is there something going on today? Could it be that you're on a date together? Yeah, right. We're actually on our way to be to the bracer training now. Oh, is that all? Everyone from Sunday school seems to have decided on a career or goal and is working hard to achieve it. As expected, you're a bit different than everyone else, though. What? Is there something wrong with that? <clears throat> no, no, not at all. I just thought it was very like you to pick the unusual route, that's all. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Tio decided that she was going to help out her parents' farm. She even said for us all to go up and visit her sometime. Hmm, so that's what Tio decided on, huh? <clears throat> yeah, we get it, man. I get so hungry working in the mines. Uh, yes, I've already made arrangements regarding the lumber. I'm looking into the septum right now. Yeah. So I was told about side quests in this game. I hope... I hope there's not too many. And I need to do them like ASAP. Otherwise, they go away and... What? They go away and what? What happens? The story doesn't progress, you know? Mm. So the little yellow things indicate a place... Septian calendar. Septian calendar, 1075. Erected in partnership with the liberal royal family, Septian Church in Roland City. Uh, Septian calendar, 1192. Destroyed during the Hundred Day War when uh, Roland was bombarded by the Erbonian Air Imperial Army. Alright, and then they rebuild it and everything was cool. Eh, talk to you. My Ty said she's a pasta monster. Hmm. Oh, hotel. Hotel Roland! Welcome to the Hotel Roland. Are you here to spend the night? Uh, Vern, it's us. Don't you remember? <laughs> I know, I was just joking, Estelle. I was practicing my greeting just now. Oh, really? Did you ever notice that Vern teases people with a straight face while being courteous at the same time? That's probably because he can. <laughs> Shower. How's it going? Good, I'm starting this game here. The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. Uh, whoa. Oh, I see. Oh, that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Didn't know that was a staircase. A lot of empty rooms. We'll see how this game goes. I'm checking it out. My wife uh, got it for me. Man, these rooms are identical. But it's a hotel. They kind of should be. At least most of them, right? Makes sense. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I know where I need to go. I need... To... Oh, look at this. Yeah, this red house. The Roland Bracer uh, Guild. Elgar Arms, uh, weapons, and... Mm. Top of the morning to you, kids. Good morning, Mr. Elgar. Good morning, sir. Well, you're up real early, aren't you? Correct me if I'm wrong, but today is your last day of training, isn't it? I seem to remember you saying something about it the last time I had a run with you in the store. 
Yeah, that's right. I see. Well, I'm sure you'll do just fine, Joshua. Uh, now, Estelle, on the other hand, I've got good reason to worry. She's always been a bit scatterbrained ever since she was a child. Probably all the knocks she took on the head playing with the boys. Uh, really? So I guess that scatterbrained trait isn't something new, huh? I'll give you a head injury if you don't shut up! And don't call me scatterbrained. Okay, you two, let's not fight now. I'm just gonna instigate and start this shit, but, you know, you shouldn't be getting... Shouldn't you be getting over to the guild? Yeah, we can't buy anything yet. Good morning, Stella. Oh, my. Well, if it isn't Estella and Joshua. Are you two on your way to the bracer training? Yeah, and just you watch. I'm gonna pass this exam and be as good a bracer as Shara, too. Hmm. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, by the way, Estelle? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Did you wash your face? How about your teeth? Did you... Did you brush them, too? Joshua is so fastidious, but you always forget to take care of yourself. Oh, come on! That was a long time ago! I don't do that anymore, right, Joshua? Um, now that you mention it, you did take off from home the other day with your hair all in a mess, right? Ugh. That was only because it was an emergency! Mr. Rinyan got the... The newest Strega brand sneakers in on that day, and... Estelle! Y yes? You listen to me carefully. For a girl your age, you need to take care of these things. If your appearance is messy, you won't look like someone that people can trust, even if you are a bracer. Your appearance is a reflection of what is on in the inside. Uh, Alright, I'll be more careful from now on. Wow, isn't that like horrible advice, or... Well, I mean, hygiene's good and all, but... Well, that's... that's that. Now, how about the both of you get on over to the guild? Man, you just can't argue with her. So, yeah, there you go with that. Hello, everyone. I'm playing... Ooh. Oh, I left. I'm playing The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. I don't know anything about this game. My wife just got it for me, just in case for those of you who just joined. Um, I'm checking this out. I hope... I hope I dig it, because I always get disappointed when I do try out a game, and then then they just load it up with tutorials and Diary of the Mouth dialogue. Final Fantasy 13. So, I hope uh, that doesn't happen. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Hey, if it isn't Joshua and Estelle. How are those orbments working out for you that we tuned the uh, tuned up the other time? You were here. Ugh. In your case, Estelle, it's not whether the orbman is good or bad. The problem lies in the way you use it. You're always jumping into things without a second thought, so you end up being slow to learn. If you just start thinking before you start swinging, then you'd learn twice as much. Well, excuse me for sucking! There, there. No need to get upset. Everyone has these problems when they first start out. If you can get the hang of things, you'll gradually be able to handle them better. That's right! I'm gonna master using this as quickly as I can and surpass even Joshua! Yeah, yeah, whatever. When I first entered the Zace Central factory, I pretty much couldn't use one of these things either. Even you couldn't use one, Freddy? Yeah, but... I can still become an engineer, even if I can't use one. But since you're aiming to become a bracer, you'll have to learn how. <sighs> okay. Yeah, these things. Hey, I'm still setting up shop. Ah, Stell and Joshua. You seem to be here rather early. Good morning, Mr. Melders. <coughs> Good morning, sir. We appreciate you fixing that orbment light the other day. Speaking of orbment lights, isn't the one outside our house burned out? We should get that replaced ASAP! Orbments sure are a daily life necessity, aren't they? When I was a lad, there weren't any of these orbment thingies. Now we can get fire and light with the mere flip of a switch and even ships fly in the sky. 
I don't like it. Don't you kids think things are way too convenient these days? Ah, oh, crap. There he goes again about the old days. Yeah, well, if you're just gonna learn to shut your big trap... When I was young, I made things a reality through hard work and sweat. Sweat, I tell ya! It would be nice if the young kids these days knew the meaning of the phrase hard work. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I'm gonna head over to my objective now. Oh, 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 and I say that, now I can go up here. Ah, that girl is so cute. I've gotta be courageous and try and talk to her. Oh, over there. See, it was like a red, um... Ooh, can I duck in here? I'm probably gonna forget to do this a lot. Oh, I left again. Oopsies. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the red house here. I'm just on my way over to the forest of Mistwald. Ooh, I wanna go there, that sounds like fun. To the south of here for work. There was a merchant from Bose who came here to buy lumber. I need to get enough ready for the order I received. All right, Roland Bracer Guild, this sounds, yeah. There you are. Good morning, Estelle. Good morning, Joshua, here we go. Good morning, uh, how do you pronounce that? Aina, 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 that's really no. I Aina, Aina, I feel Aina. Do we all agree on Aina? Morning, Aina. Good morning. Is Sherry here already? I have a feeling we're in for a big tutorial. Yes, she's waiting for you upstairs. Once you finish today's training, you'll finally be recognized as members of the Bracer Guild. Good luck to the both of you. Thanks. We'll do our best. Once you finish today's training, you'll be recognized as members of the Bracers Guild. All right, yeah, okay. So, and I bet um, you, someone was talking earlier about side quests, maybe bulletins here or something. And what, they're gonna be all over every town we go to? Yeah, and we take these jobs and tasks and boppity bop. Prob, that sounds about right. Where am I? Oh, there we go. The Star and the Hanged Man. The Hermit and the Magician. And last of all, Inversion through the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. This is a difficult combination. How should I interpret this? Good morning, Shara! Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. This is a rare occasion for the both of you to show up here so early. Since it's my last day of training, I figured, why not? I'm ready to get this show on the road and become a bracer myself. I'll give you credit for your enthusiasm, but I'm going to work you hard today in every way I think I, I can to make sure that high-spirited attitude of yours holds up. I hope you're ready. I can feel that enthusiasm dropping already. Quiet, you. Every time I teach you something, you somehow manage to forget it. This training is my way of trying to keep some of that information in your head instead of letting it dribble out of your ears like it usually does. Oh, Joshua! Shara's picking on me! Don't worry, Shara. While Estelle may hate studying and rarely ever does her homework, acts rashly and is over naive and has a tendency to stick her nose in everything, her instincts are sharp, so I'm sure she'll pick up on how to use an orbment with some practice. Eventually, probably. I guess there's not much I can do now except hope for the best. Hold on a sec, Joshua. Somehow I get the feeling that you weren't standing up for me. <laughs> well, that's odd. I'm positive I described all your best traits accurately. Whatever. By the way, Shara, what were you trying to predict with your tarot cards? Your face was really intent. Oh, this? I was just trying to get a vague reading about what might happen in the near future. 
Unfortunately, I don't seem to have the right mindset to interpret the cards correctly. You couldn't read the cards? Uh, now that's surprising to hear. Actually, the more profound the meaning of the cards, the more difficult they become to interpret. But that's not important now. I think it's time we start your final training. I'll give you a brief rundown of all the information we've covered in your previous training. This is the minimal level of knowledge that Bracer should have in order to function effectively. And Estelle, make sure you pay especially close attention to what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, okay, here we go, ready? What would you like to know about? About Orbments. Orbments are mechanical devices which operate by using what is known as orbital ener energy. A variety of effects can be produced depending on their structure and the type of quartz or process septium installed. Although it's only been about 50 years since their invention, these devices play an integral role in all f uh, facets of life, from lights, heaters, and other everyday products to weapons, magic, and even airships. In connection, this technological reform is commonly known as the Orbal Revolution. What about bracers? Bracers are investigative and combat specialists who work to protect civilians and maintain the stability of their respective regions. They aid the community in various ways, such as exterminate monsters, preventing crime, finding items, and escorting people and goods. The Bracer Guild, which has established branches across the continent, manages the affairs of the Bracers in each region. What about the Liberal Kingdom? Well, the Kingdom of Liberal... Liberal? 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 <laughs> in which we live, sits on the western half of the Zumerian Zoom continent and abounds with nature and deep-rooted traditions. Liberal is proud to be one of the leading producers of septium on the continent and is known for its high level of technology used to develop ordments. Ordment technology has also been a key pillar of support for liberal, for liberal, lib liberal, liberal, in protecting its independence as it has contended with neighboring nations. Ten years ago, when Liberal was invaded by the Ebor Ebonian Empire, Ebonian Empire, it was the use of orbital powered airships that saved the kingdom from defeat. Consequently, even now our relationship with the Empire is somewhat sensitive, isn't it always? But thanks to the Queen's political f uh, finesse, uh, finesse, Liberal enjoys peace. The Queen, that's all, and there was no that's all button before. I had to go through all three. Let's see, since we've got a mountain of stuff to do today, I'll let you off the hook this time, and that's, that's, a, that's it for now with that review. I'm going to speed things up now and move you on to the practical portion of your training. Yes, thank you. Uh, Shara? How is today's practical training any different from the training we've done before? Well, we have an audience today. Dave the Usher streaming, some people are watching, and since it's practical, that means you will be experiencing things firsthand. Therefore, I'm going to have the both of you run through everything as if it were a real bracer job. So what you're saying is, there won't be any studying at a desk involved? Oh, GG, as in good game. This is the first one, right? Uh, yeah, Brother Todd. How you doing, Brother Todd? This is the first one. Um, I don't know this game at all. I assume you do, so what are your opinions on this game? I'm looking for a really good story. Uh, kind of simplistic battle system. You know, just nothing crazy overcomplicated. And just diary of the mouth dialogue. That's what I'm not looking for. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This time, you'll have to go out there and make a physical effort to accomplish your task. I'll make sure you have to work up a sweat, so I hope you're ready. Ah, oh, yeah. That's seriously just what the doctor ordered. I didn't know what I was going to do if I had to sit another day with a tush parked at a... with my tush parked at a desk. I guess I got all worried for nothing. Well, studying 
Well, suddenly you're all bright and cheerful, Estelle. Oof. Let's just hope that a uh, smile on your face lasts until the end of today's training. Okay, let's get cracking on your first objective, shall we? Yeah, let's have at it. Yeah, this is basically the, uh, <clears throat> the first tutorial. Your first objective will be to confirm the details of the job you will be performing. But before that, there is something that we need to give the both of you. It's a long game worth the price. That's all! <laughs> give me a little more detail, Brother Todd! What kind of brother are you? Uh, Ina. Ina, Ina, right? Ina. Are they ready? Uh, yes, they are. <laughs> all right, you two. Go on and get one for yourselves. We probably won't be... See we'll be seeing her, I guess, maybe a little more. This Aina. There are very important... These are very important, so make sure not to lose them. Brace your notebooks. Brace your notebooks serve as the official way to record the status of your current jobs. Also, anything you may hear or anything that you may find and where these kinds of trivial things can often become clues... No matter how insignificant something may seem, always write it down. Understood. <sighs> Sounds like it's gonna be a pain. Oh? Please tell me it was my ears playing tricks on me because I swear I only got one response. Uh, I'm sure there were two. Keeping an accurate account of events is an important duty for all bracers. So, get with the program and study trying to make this out to be more than it really is, Estelle. Okay, okay, I got it. Make sure you do. All right, then, let's begin. Look over by the door. You can see that there's a bulletin board standing over there. First, I want you to go over there and check out the job descriptions posted there. All right, so, uh, boppity bop, yeah. Mm-hmm, view the details. Brother Todd says, really good story. I'm involved, and I don't know why I'm waiting to play the second game. Waiting a little for the price to drop down. Yeah, didn't the second game come out? I thought I looked it up. Did it just come out? I thought it wasn't released everywhere yet, or maybe I, I wasn't looking in the right s website, whatever. Or was it really officially just released worldwide? <clears throat> the bulletin board's over there. Dummy! Training. Retrieval. New. So, hello. The client is Charizard. Uh, the pay is 500 Mira. It's a direct request. So, this is what we're, we've been talking about. Day one. Yay, I found a penny. Day 47, found another penny. Damn. Why do I only find pennies? I don't know what you're talking about there, Sideshow Paradox. When she says a tutorial, she'll never play. Second one came out about November or December. Okay. I don't know what uh, Sideshow's talking about, though. Day one? What is that? What are, you what are you talking about there? So anyway, this training will involve searching the sewers beneath Roland and bringing back the contents of a chest. Okay, cool. How do I accept? Your notebook can easily be found by clicking on the books tabs in the item menu. Configure an embracer book shortcut and configuration menu. Very good. It looks like you were able to see what was posted without any trouble. But I hope I hope it's a shortcut a uh, shortcut. Like, I hope okay. I just go to the bulletin board, I see it. Hey, let's do that. And then I go do that. I find this chest in the sewers or whatever completed. I come back here and that's it. I don't want like A to B. I don't want like there to also be a C because you know what? Wasn't it Nino Kuni that made it a little more complicated 
and that's just like one example. Hey, there's a lot of games out there with this kind of stuff, of course. But like, you have to go to the bulletin board and then go find the person, then do the task and then find the person. I like the I like there being the one source. That source being this this room, this um, the side quest room, basically we'll call it the task room, right? You know, with the bulletin boards. I hate that extra step that sometimes you have to do in some games. That's gonna be the entry in the Bracer books. Oh, really? Checking the bulletin board is one of the most basic functions a Bracer does. Check in regularly to see whether or not there are any urgent tasks which need immediate attention is also pretty important, eh, Bri? Man, all this talk about duty is starting to cramp my style. Sure, there are lots of rules to follow, but there's an equal level of responsibility in the jobs themselves. I think being a bracer calls for much more than just someone with a half-hearted attitude. Um, I guess you're right. I'll just have to be more motivated. Mm-hmm. Had a change of heart now, have you? You betcha! Well, before all that motivation sneaks off somewhere, let's get to work on your next task. What are we gonna be doing this time? We'll be heading across the street to Mr. Melder's Orbal Factory and learning about how to use its services. He has graciously taken time out of his work schedule to explain, to explain things, so make sure to be on your best behavior. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. This is, uh, what is this, kind of like the materia of the game, you know? Kind of got the vibe a little bit. Do we agree? <coughs> This is where you're going to learn how to use Orbal Factory uh, services. In Orbal Factory, you can modify your orbments and synthesize support quartz in order to use Orbal Arts. Arts have a wide range of effects and if mastered can be extremely helpful. The Bracer business is a pretty risky occupation so the guild has, a, has had a long-standing relationship with these Orbal Factories. Anyway, this is about as much as I can explain. I'll leave the technical details to the expert. So, Mr. Melders, if you wouldn't mind taking over from here. No problem, leave everything to me. So, what is it you would like to know about? <coughs> Yo, Dave, I caught a stream of yours. Yo, what's going on, Zolfair TV? <laughs> Glad you caught it, man. And of course, for those of you who are join in. If you miss any of this, you can always watch it in its entirety on my Dave the Usher YouTube channel. So, let's talk about orbments. Orbments are mechanical devices which exhibit an array of effects through the installation of various types of quartz. By definition, that means that lights, airship engines, and so on are also uh, types of orbments. However, the ones we will be discussing today are the battle ornaments, which enhance the, user, the user's physical abilities and make it possible to use magic. <clears throat> Since each ornament is adjusted to match the owner's personal aptitude, the structure for these devices also differ for each owner. Simply put, the shape of the fixed elemental slots and lines which connect them vary. At any rate, that's the layman's explanation. That'll do. Uh, in order to install quartz, you must first have an open slot. By default, the central slot is open, but the other slots must be opened at an orbital factory like this. It'll take a fair amount of septh, sepith, 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 sepith. My dogs, sepith, sepith too. I don't know that word's funny to me. EP, which is needed for magic. We'll also see a max increase according to the number of open slots. I recommend opening them all as soon as possible. <clears throat> so, what is it you would like to know about? Orbal Arts. Simply put, Orbal Arts are magic which can be discharged exclusively through the use of battle orbments. Uh, you, lost your, you lost my YouTube account for the longest time. I used to watch your vids on another website. Well, if you remembered my name as being Dave the Usher, I advise you to look that up. That'll probably get you what you need. But yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> YouTube, at YouTube, Dave the Usher, at Facebook, Dave the Usher, at Twitter, Dave the Usher, at Instagram, Dave the Usher, at Twitch, Dave the Usher, 
at uh, Patreon, Dave the Usher. Dave the, Dave, Dave the Usher. Simply put, Orbal Arts are magic which can be discharged exclusively through the use of battle orbments. In other words, a number of peculiar effects can be produced by using the Orbal energy stored within these mechanical devices. Since Orbal Arts can be a mouthful, they're almost universally referred to as arts. Probably ought to have been called that from the get-go. <clears throat> there are several types of arts, but in order to be able to use them, their corresponding quartz must be first, first be synthesized at an orbital factory. Orbments are also set up so that once a particular quartz is installed into a slot, the owner will be able to use those arts. Hey, is this like less complicated? Is this is this guy's making it out? You can feel free to leave me a comment about that. Be like, Dave. Don't worry, it's pretty simple. Buka, 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 you put that there, a little of that, done. This guy's just going bop, bop, boppity, boppity, bop. Anyway, orbments are also set up so that once a particular quartz is installed into a slot, the owner will be able to use those arts. The type of arts that one can uh, use also changes depending on the elemental value and the combination of installed quartz. Basically, if you want to use water arts, all you have to do is install quartz with the water elemental value. In reality, orbments are much more complex than what I have described. But I think this information should suffice for now. So, what is it you would like to know about? Quartz. Quartz are circuits made from Sepith. Quartz have a vast number of effects and raise the owner's abilities while simultaneously making it possible for them uh, to use arts. I think I get what this is about. Uh, however, you will not be able to harness any of these effects until quartz has been installed into a slot. However, there are also fixed slots in which only a certain type of elemental quartz can be installed. Who's the villain of it? Can we get to, like, the villain? Like, I want a princess to be kidnapped. I want the villain to come out and blow something up. You know, like, where's, like, Mr. Knight Douchebag saying, I seize this place in the name of the Empire! Let's go already! I have no idea what's going on, Dave. You are not alone. <laughs> Honestly, I think my son is understanding this more than me right now. Maybe. But, uh... Oh, Brother, brother Todd's talking again. Hello, Brother Todd. I love the characters, and they did an excellent job with uh, world building and its history, battles aren't difficult and will later provide nice challenges. <laughs> so, this being the case, when you synthesize a new quartz, quartz, be sure to check your orbit and decide where you will be installing it ahead of time. Oh, I'm gonna mess this up so badly. So, what is it you would like to know about? Sepith. Sepith are fragments of septium which can be dropped by monsters. Was that the money? They are divided into seven types. Earth, brown, water, blue, fire, red, wind, green, time, black, space, gold, and mirage, silver. Sepith can be exchanged for Mira almost anywhere, but... I, th I gotcha. At the Orbal Factory, it can also be used to synthesize quartz and to open Orbman slots. Sepith is useful. Uh, Orbman slots uh, in which to install the synthesized quartz. So, what else, bruh? That's it for now. Why does the NPC keep walking into the bar? Because this is Final Fantasy tactic style, man! Hey, Moon Mix, Moon Mix Moo! Don't you know Final Fantasy tactics? They're walking in place all the time. <laughs> That's all they do! It looks like Mr. Melders has answered all of your questions. If there's nothing else, then let's have you both try and use the services here. Oh no! For that, you're going to need some Sepith. Receive several, uh, each type of the elemental Sepith. With that, with that amount, you two should be able to synthesize a few quartz. N now that you mention it, yeah man! And, you know, there's other games. But I always think of tactics. Now, I want you to begin uh, by first making an elemental quartz that will work with each of your particular orbments. In your case, Estelle, any elemental quartz is okay. 
But for you, Joshua, it has to be a time elemental quartz. Why does he get screwed? Oh, goody, I get to control time! I mean, that is kind of cool in reality. Uh, but just, you know, we'll think of their reality. Like, I get to do this and that and that and all that stuff. I get to control time and that's it because I suck? Or what's my problem here, everybody? Anyway. Normally at a shop, you would be able to exchange Sepeth for Mira, but for this training, you will not be able to use this service. Thanks for confusing me. Upon approaching the counter, a talk icon... A talk mark will appear, pressing the OK button. Modify trade. Alright. Stop walking to the counter, you! And you! Uh... Hi there. <laughs> Hi there! It looks like you two are doing well in your training. Whenever I hear the words hi there in a video game, I always think about Rincewind in Discworld because he says it so uh, humorously, played by Eric Idle. Hi there! I love that game. Yeah, we're doing well with our training. If you would like to modify your orbments, please select the Modify Trade Service. Okay. Open a slot. Synthesize quartz. Let's open a slot then for Estelle. Already open. All quartz okay. Open a openable. Not openable. What's all quartz? Oh, all quartz okay, because she can do all magic. Why aren't these openable? But this is but the bottom one is? I don't Okay. Well, I'm gonna open that. Insufficient Insufficient Sepeth. Where is, where's the list I see my Mira? Go to Quartz. Defense, H. Defense, HP, attack. Elemental, fire, fire elemental. Strength. Plus, mm -hmm. okay. Synthesize attack. How much does it cost? Oh no, wait, oh, it's, um, Sepeth, there, right there. Uh, <laughs> 20, oh, I got 20 of each because she gave me, uh, Sepeth for all. Sepeth for all. 20 Sepeth. It costs 20. I synthesized attack one. Synthesize evade one. Y yeah, thumbs up. Action. Action? What's this about, though? Action. T oh, time. Elemental. Action. Time elemental. Might as well do them all, right? Oh, I can do. Uh, the golden, the, the special ones. I don't know what that's about. So, can I now do slot stuff? Already open. All courts okay. It costs... Oh, by the way, I didn't even... I wasn't looking at that the first time. It costs 30 Seth, so it's not like, oh, now I can't do it. I wouldn't have been able to do it in the first place. So, let's go over here. Oh, good work so far. If you need to use the Orbal Factory, give Freddy a holler over there. All right, it looks like you were able to synthesize one. Next, I want you to increase the arts you can use. Now, install a quartz into your orbment so that you can use both recovery and attack arts. <clears throat> quartz can be installed in the orbment screen. The orbment screen can be utilized by selecting the orbment tab in the main uh, main menu. So not, not here. Now, this is about, well, the quartz, Synthesis. The slots. This is how. This is the only way I can open them. But I need seven. No, uh, so I gotta do. Um, oh boy. This is a lot of shit here. Uh, I'll say that. So we go to Orbman. So 
slot is sealed. Seals in all courts, okay. Alright. So then I set him up. A little defense, HP. Fire a stone hammer, huh? It's here. But what do those what do these arts do? Hey, if uh okay, maybe I wasn't paying attention. If anyone wants to verify this or if I'm uh if I'm wrong. Wait, could we master these and then always know these attacks like Final Fantasy V style? You know, like I master um I master something and I learn the, uh, oh, the fire, there it is, the fire bolt, which costs 10 EP. And then I always have it no matter what I have equipped or, I don't know. I'll probably find, hey, I'll find out, I, I imagine. Time courts only. Why? Why? Hey, Dave, does Ty still do streams? Yeah, she does, uh, brobud86, but not lately. Oh, uh, you know what? I want her. Ty, you still watching? Ty, you still watching? She's actually downstairs. Ty's been playing Tales of. Crap, there's so many Tales games. Tales of Zen. Zenta... Zentania? Or whatever? I'm sure you guys. Help me out in the chat. What's the one with the Z? Uh, she should stream that goddamn game. She doesn't even have to do commentary. I mean, she could. She has. So let's uh, equip this. Clock up. How do I further read about these orbal arts? Here, go. Okay, now go down. Yeah, like that. Now, what do they do? I want to know. It's like an, I need an info button. Come on, be helpful, game. There's got to be an info button. Do I have to go here? I don't want to go. I don't like that page. I don't like that page right there. It's too much. Oh, whatever. Now install quartz into your orbments so that you can use both reco recovery and attack arts. Recovery and attack. I don't think that I not do. Oop, wrong button. Tales of Zillia? Maybe. Could be. All right, that, yeah, that's the one she wanted. All right, it looks like you've got uh, both recovery and attack arts set up. If you balance your arts out between each other, like you've done here, it should make dealing with monsters much easier. Oh? Additionally, your bracer notebooks contain information about which courts allow you to use which arts. Ugh. If you'd like to use more powerful arts, check out the arts and quartz charts in your brazer notebooks uh, if you find something that works for you. All right, Oof. our training here is almost finished. <gasps> Last of all, I'm going to have to open a, I'm gonna have one of you open a new slot in your orbits. The more slots you have available to you, the broader range of choices you'll have. Uh, since EP, which is consumed by using arts can have its max value increased by opening up slots, it would be a good idea to open them all early on. Now I want you to use the Sepith and open a slot on each of your orbments. Go ahead and decide which slot you're going to open. Receive several of each type of elemental Sepith. A dog's barking outside. having a little drink. How you guys doing? We've been streaming for almost an hour and a half. 
Ah. Alright, so now we can, um... Slot. Slot it up. Right. Yeah, see if I hope that's I'm looking at this pocket watch thing. What's uh what's this and then what's this right here? That's I don't get. There's one openable at the bottom, but not. What's the difference? Which is which? Hmm. <coughs> Open slot two. Hmm. Openable. 50, huh? 50, 80, 50. Insufficient sepith. I opened one. What you drinking, Dave? Um, peach mango iced tea. Pe the peach mango one's my favorite. How you doing? Hi, Dave. I love your FF walkthroughs on your YouTube channel. Thank you. I love peach mango iced tea. So, yeah, I can only open the one. I see you've managed to open one of your Orban slots, Estelle. Since your central slot is not limited to a particular elemental, you are free to install any type of quartz you like. <clears throat> this concludes your training here at the Orbal Factory. Now it's time to move on to what you've both been waiting for. The qualification test. Pardon? Did, did you did you just say test? You can't honestly tell me that you forgot about the test again, can you? Didn't I remind you just this morning? Ha <laughs> ha! Now that you mention it, I, I vaguely remember some sort of talking along those lines at the breakfast table. Sometimes I fear for the future of the Bracer Guild and humanity. Oh well, no sense in worrying about that now. Let's head over to the testing area. Y you mean like now? I don't know if I'm ready for... How about a little less yapping and a little more walking? Joshua, help me! Mr. Melders, Freddy, thank you for all your help. Hey! I'll be ruined for you. I'm gonna remember that you left me just high and dry like this, Joshua. <clears throat> All your training has finally come down to this. Have you ever streamed a DQ game? Dairy Queen? Dragon Quest? No. Um. Oh, you know what? I think so. A couple years ago. I think you might be able to find that in my uh, streaming playlist. Maybe. Maybe a, one time I think I did a little Dragon Quest. One of them for the Wii U? Eh, or the Wii. I don't know. Your qualification is starting, man! I expect you to use all your stuff and kick some ass. Understood. What's wrong, Estelle? Um, Shara? What now? I was kind of wondering, but is there not going to be a paper test or something? Did Cassis drop you on your head as a child or something? You just read that it was on the bulletin board not long ago, right? Yeah, and? And I even made you jot down what you read in your bracer notebooks, unless you forgot that too. I'm pretty sure the job listing but ooh, i'm pretty sure that the job listing mentioned searching for and retrieving an item from the sewers ringing any bells yet aha uh -huh, what a relief oh divine adios i give thanks to thee for thy infinite grace in bestowing upon us such wonderful gifts as sewers so what you're really saying is that you thought it was a paper test no wonder you're acting all crazy back at the Orbal Factory. Ah, I can already feel the nostalgia. All those horrible days stuck in a classroom are starting to feel like grand memories indeed. I'm really starting to wonder if we'll be able to graduate at all. What's wrong with you? Why do you have to go and say something like that when I'm trying to reminisce about positive things? Alright, that's enough jabbering, you two. 
This is supposed to be a test, so how about the both of you try and at least look a little anxious? Uh, just so you know, though, if you do happen to flunk the test, you won't even want to imagine the kind of homework I have in store for both of you. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be fine. I don't know. No, you can't see my dog. I uh, zoomed in my cam for this anyway. Just tell us what you want us to uh, do. Well, if you're so confident, then how about proving... How about proving that you're not just blowing hot air with the results of your test? Anyway, as you both saw on the bulletin board, this test will be a search conducted in Roland's sewers. Your objective is to retrieve the contents of a chest... Terry... My wife's sharing something, some kind of game activity. <laughs> I was trying to read it. Your objective is to retrieve the contents of a chest which has been placed somewhere within that area. Yeah, I know, man! You said it ten times! The layout of the sewers is extremely simple, so you don't have to worry about getting lost, either. However, there are real living, breathing monsters down there, so you gotta be careful and don't let your guard down or you'll be sorry. Also, let me give you this before I forget. Receive Tear Bomb. I assume that's healing monster guide. What's this book for? It's called a monster guide, and it's used to record information about monsters and other uh, opponents you meet. Whenever you figure out an enemy's attributes, you should make an immediate note of it in there. I'm not looking in any of these books. Sounds pretty straightforward to me, my ass. He who controls the flow of information controls the tide of battle, right? That's exactly what I'm saying. You've really got a good head on your shoulders, Joshua. That's some pretty useful advice. Thanks for the tip, Shara. We'll put it to good use. Can you let us get in the goddamn sewers already, Shara? Alrighty then. Uh, let's get pumped and knock him out with this test. Yes, let's. And don't forget, though. This is an exam. We should make sure we treat it as such. Yeah, you know, in games like Final Fantasy IV, you just start off, you know, you leave Baron, you go in the Mist Cave, and there you go. Battle stuff. It doesn't matter if it's, like, a throwback to old school or whatever. It's just these newer games, they don't just let you go. They don't, they just do not let you begin. Even Final Fantasy VII, with all its materia, mixing and matching and all that stuff, they had a tutorial section. You could totally skip it. If I was playing this game for, like, the tenth time, I'd be pissed. Alright, so, um, I, hey, look, I can use my cursor here. This is probably the monster book. Back. This is... Alright, that. Here, leave. Camp. Camp? That's this, huh? Alright. Look, it's my mouse cursor. Hello. Okay, I'm down in the sewers. Wait a minute, Estelle. There appears to be a recovering point over there, so we should be able to heal our HP and EP if it becomes low. Alright, recover your shit. And there you go. And that's the end. And that's the end. Am I getting impatient? Dude, it's been an hour and a half. This game has a ton of dialogue. Sounds like a plan, and that can be good and bad, or both. Sounds like a plan to me. Hi there. Monsters at 12 o'clock! Be careful not to let them take advantage of your blind side. Got it! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's called back attacks. I'm getting them with a back attack. I assume that's what we'll, we'll have here. Upper left hand corner, I see. Uh, that's It's kind of like a Final Fantasy X battle uh, arrangement there. Oh, I didn't even look at that. Yeah, battle order bar. Attack! Move! No art in crafting. Item and run. 
hint attack an <laughs> hint attack an enemy you may also uh, use it to move if you are using a mouse click empty location highlighted area indicates the distance a character can move selecting the target in this area will move the character to attack when an enemy is out of range a no-go icon will appear on your cursor selecting an out of range attack uh, target will move the character as close as it's possible but the attack will not be performed you know what you know, this could be i don't know that's okay right click is back out so maybe i'll use the mouse for this i don't know man so and then here attack attack Big Bray right there, yeah. Big, not really Big Bray. Yeah, the mouse is kind of easy in a way. I mean, it might require less clicking. Hmm. Ah, moving that. I am, uh, there's my head out of the... I am a big stickler. I don't like playing games usually with, uh, with a mouse. Gotta... I always like the little simple mouse, you know? Simple wireless mouse. How's, uh, how's the chat going here, eh? Yeah? Alrighty. So, yeah, he couldn't attack. Okay, but now he can, I assume. Yeah. Just as close as possible. I gotcha. What do you guys think of the battle theme? I think this music playing right now is fine. It's like good music, you know, it's it's got a good beat, good rhythm, and it sounds cool. But a battle theme? I don't know. Well, a lot of games have uh, certain styles. I can see... I can see how, where this one's going, maybe a little bit. Alright, we're good to go. Hmm. I kind of like it. If you're, are you referring to this? Mooin Max? Moo Mix Moo? I, I kind of agree if you're talking about this. Yeah, it's not that bad. I kind of don't mind the mouse, but we'll, we'll see how if it gets complicated, more complicated. Alright, so we won the battle, and uh, Sepith, right? For they look, they look like Zelda rupees. Yeah, so, so we get Sepith and a juicy bone. Oh, you like the battle music? It's good. Oh, a point and click. Hey, man, I'm becoming a mouse guy. Here comes some more. Depending on the enemy, some. I mean, because I'm really. I'm not anti-mouse. Well, I kind of am. I don't know. I just really like controllers. Nice, non-Wii U gamepad controllers. You know? Something basic. Depending on the enemy, some physical attacks may be ineffective. Durr. Let's use arts, not physical attacks. Okay! Arts are effective on enemies that, enemies that are good at on avoiding physical attacks. Eh. Arts also make long-range attacks possible. But they require time to cast. EP is consumed when arts are used. EP can be recovered by res by resting at inns, hotels, or by using charge stations and other items like EP charge. Bats, of course, yeah, man. Uh, well, I get right. Yeah, I think so. You're right, man. Bats with a question mark. Arts are effective against foes, which are difficult to hit with a weapon. Uh, or those on which physical attacks have little effect. Wasn't that just said? It takes time before arts can be cast. Also, EP is consumed when arts are cast. Can I attack then move, by the way? All arts have an element. De determine the element uh, most effective against your foe and use it. Do I click the foe and find out that way? Heals. Shoots. Can I move now? 
No, it's not like that. You see, in Final Fantasy Tactics, man, I love that goddamn game, as you can tell. In Final Fantasy Tactics, have I talked about that game yet? You can attack and then move. Get to, like, a safer location. But I might screw myself out of my range here or something. Oh, wow, moving is... Hey! Can you only do one or the other? No, move and a... No, no move and attack feature. Hmm. So then, like... Yeah, just move and then that's it. Really? What? That's... That's peculiar, don't you think? Hmm. Oh, and I saw... Ooh, I didn't mean to do that, actually. Um... But yeah, look, um... Yeah, I can't highlight it there. Moth- Moth Cluster, by the way, not bats! Uh, HP, condition, elemental, uh... A, 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 a fic- a It's not efficiency, I don't know. Whatever, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. So, like, kinda... No weakness, I guess. Efficacy? Not familiar with that word. About a month ago... <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna read this. About a month ago, I made a huge batch of chicken lasagna, and then it froze, and then I froze a very good chunk of it, so now I'm having some more of it. I just need to reheat it, which takes about 15 minutes. I got some leftover mac and cheese in the f uh, freezer that my wife eats. That's all. I'm streaming. I'm, uh, I'm having a fun time here. Back button. Okay, how about we do some arts? But he can only do time stuff. Clock up. Speeds up the flow of time. <coughs> Emits a time speed. Damn, mess him up. Oh, that's damage. Yeah. Alright, we're good to go. Wow! They talk! Thought I was the one talking. Oh, I am. I wonder why this game doesn't use uh, voice actors. Why didn't they hire me? Right, yeah. I think uh, battle music sounds too happy for battles. I think they're trying hard not to sound like uh, other battle music, uh, but it's the fast parts of the music uh, that suits it better. Yeah, maybe. I would prefer walking though with the. Let's try. I'm gonna try a battle with the controller. Estelle, let's try using crafts this time around. Since crafts have other effects besides just dealing out damage, they're worth a shot. <clears throat> Roger that! Crafts have range limits, but can be utilized instantly. CP is gained by dealing out or receiving damage during battle. So, we have our attack. Uh, crafts are uh, character specific skills which not only deal out damage but also have a broad range of effects using crafts consume CP CP is gradually gained by dealing out or receiving damage in battle so it's a give-and-take kind of a thing you know <coughs> all right so attack move did the arts now the craft pummel Beats an enemy is senseless with a series of attacks. Why can't I do it though? Uh oh. Well, I don't know how many how many I can do the morale one. It doesn't say how many uh, uh, points I need. I see that my CP is about 20, 21. Well, I'll do this. Let's encourage. Cheer, right, Titus? Strength's up. Can't do that, but Dual Strike unleashes a double slash with dual blades. Ooh, kinda like Chrono Trigger with Frog and Chrono and the X-Strike. Was it X-Strike or what strike was that? Whatever. 
He's dead now. <clears throat> Ooh. Out of CP. Is there an auto battle? That'd be nice. <laughs> The battles are are pretty good. I mean, it's uh, I don't know. It's not like simple, simple, but it's simplistic for now. All these items, though. Revive and bomb. Was that the no? door is rusted and appears to be locked. Balls. Oh, what a surprise. Another creepy thing. <clears throat> I wish there were... <clears throat> damn. <clears throat> an easier way to take care of them. One blow using an S-craft or S-break should do the trick for just about any enemy. The catch is RCP has to be at least 100 to pull off one of those moves. These devastating attacks can only be unleashed when your CP gauge is above 100. S breaks are actions which allow S crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the battle order. S crafts which are unleashed as S breaks can be changed by going to tactics and then set and then set S break within the main menu. Try clicking on chests after you open them? Why is that? All right. Hmm. So wait, how do I do that move? How do I do the mega move? Hmm. These uh, S breaks, these are actions which allow S crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the battle order once the CP gauge has reached zero. S crafts will be used as S. S crafts which will be used as S breaks can be changed by going to tactics. And then set S breaks within the main menu. Press the ruby button, break button to unleash an S break, and S break cannot be unleashed. Now press the uh, ruby button, break button, and try unleashing an S break. If you are using a keyboard, you may use the one to four number of keys. So then, uh, what do I do with the controller? Okay. Hmm. Here I come. Overdrive. Build up. It up again. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's move out. Seems like a chill game. Oh, um, let's see. Where's an empty chest? This chest is empty because of you. Nice work, hero. What's the problem? I'm sorry. No good?
Now what? So that's the treasure chest we're after, huh? If we've made it this far, the rest is gonna be a piece of cake. What's up, Mr. Fritz? Did you miss some cool things? Bray, you missed almost two hours of me streaming The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, playing it for the first time on Steam. Seems like we've got a little breathing room, at least. But don't worry, because if any of you missed it, you can see it on my Dave the Usher YouTube channel, as always. Let's play, let's pay close attention to our battle order this time. There should be, there should be a number of ways to get more mileage out of our actions. During battle, there are several bonuses which can be allotted to turns. Turn bonuses have the same effect regardless of whether they are allotted to an ally or a foe. Using S breaks to ignore the battle order makes it easy to jump in and strip an enemy of their turn bonus. <clears throat> I think I probably know what you mean. We'll see. Hint. Battle order bonus. These icons indicate the bonuses allowed it, allotted to the battle order. If a bonus icon appears next to a character's icon, they will receive that bonus. Heal HP. Up. Indicates the effects of each icon. Oh man, why are we throwing this in? This seems like... Ugh. Okay, so what is the point of moving? I feel like moving isn't a big thing here. should I do here? I don't have a lot of CP. I like this part. I want to affect multiple enemies. this battle the best way. Maybe not. I don't know, this bonus stuff's a little like, ugh. Is this necessary too? <clears throat> I need to recover. Look at that guy over there. Guard in the chest. <laughs> Moving closer to him. Can someone give me a summary of the plot? Oh, man. Good luck with that. Well, there's really... You haven't missed much. Let's just kill this guy. Come on. 
Seems fine to me. Let's move out. Can't believe it's almost five where I am. Juicy bones. What's the uh, prize here? Found small box, two of them. That's weird. There's a couple of boxes inside the treasure chest. The fact that there is not just one, but two is kind of interesting, too. wonder what's inside. Remember, Estelle, our mission is to search and retrieve only. I'm pretty sure looking inside those boxes doesn't fall under our mission objective. Oh, you're no fun at all, Joshua. This has nothing to do with our mission. It's what I like to call good honesty, good honest curiosity. You know, we're the only ones down here. We can get away with a teensy weensy peek, right? If you feel like flunking the day's test, then by all means, be my guest. Did you just say the F word? Yep. Opening one of those boxes could result in an automatic fail for the both of us. If this were a real job, the contents of those boxes would belong to the client. And as long as they were nothing illegal, we would have no right to open them. I know you're right, Joshua, but I just can't help myself. I'm with Estelle, I'd be looking into it. If you absolutely have to know what's inside, why not ask Miss Shero when we get back? But for now, we need to focus on getting out of here. All right, all right. Enemies that take an extra turn to charge area attacks, you want to move out of the effect area. Oh yeah, I know about that stuff. Final Fantasy Tactics, once again, man. They're, uh, you know, charging up for a big, atta for a big attack. Fighting, uh, oh man, it's been a while. Fighting what's-his-name after he's overtaken... Velius? V Velus. Fighting Velus in, uh, whatever castle place. That battle can be tough. And he has some major ranged attacks that can surround an area. You gotta move away. What's his name, though, before? Uh, he was part of the uh, Rebellion. The guy with the blonde hair. You know what I'm talking about? I can't even remember the name of the faction. I should play that game. <laughs> it's been on my list for a long time. I want to get in there. We Wegraf. That was his name. Wygraf, Wegraf. However you want to pronounce it. That was his name. Wegraf. I love that guy. He was awesome. He was part of the... Uh, what was it called? And then he ended up uh, in services of the demon stuff. I haven't played that game in a long time. Might as well rest. <clears throat> Good work, you two. As a rule of training, I'm going to need to confirm the items in your possession. Yep. Yep. They're the real deal, all right. I don't see any evidence of tampering either. That was a close one. I figured she would try and set us up like that. Congratulations to the both of you. You have successfully passed your qualification test. You didn't really think something that simple would be a problem for us, did you? So, uh, Shara, what's in those boxes you had us get? Well, that's for me to know and for you to find out after your training is finished. When is that gonna be? That's enough chit-chat for now, so let's get back to work. You two still have some things left to do. Seriously? But didn't you just say that we passed the test? You still have to learn about how to report the results of your work. And I'm... Hoping that's not going to be a pain in the ass. I'm aware that you're both tired, but this is no time to shrink your duties. Let's get back to the guild. When is this day going to be over? Oh, well, no sense in giving up when the finish line is in sight. Agreed. It seems like we're within reaching distance of our goal. 
Your final training is how to report to the guild. I would think this is pretty obviously easy. Whenever you finish a job, it is your... I was talking about this earlier, uh, earlier, remember? Whenever you finish a job, it is your duty to report the results of your work to the guild. Reporting how you resolved the situation and the steps you took to get there are all part of your jobs as a bracer. You can report your results to the front desk in each guild branch. 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 Yes! That's, that is easy. And as you already know by now, Ina is, uh, Ina, 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 Ina is in charge here at the Roland branch. In addition, this is where you will be paid for your walk. Voiceovers. Oh, point as usual. Keep coming back to hear them. What are we talking about? Voiceovers in this game? Not many. Voiceovers on point as usual. Keep coming. Keep coming. What my uh, my stuff? You mean, or you know, like my walkthroughs or whatever? I don't know what we're totally referring to there. Mystic aura. Mystic aura. I look forward to seeing great things from the both of you. Now that we're you're, you voicing the characters, yeah. In this case, yeah. And there's a lot of voicing to be done because there's a lot of talking. Man, so much talking. I read that this game starts off slow. I can't wait to see, like, the plot of this. Like, where's where's Mr. Bad Dude with the sword who's, like, uh... Who's all stuffy and just... I'm the Prince of... Bleh, and I'm here to just go... Bleh, and say, boppity bop, you do what I say. Uh, you're not going to? I'll destroy the kingdom and set it on to... Set it to blaze, and then that happens... And then it's a big civil war, and gets crazy, and then and the dad character who kind of sucks, kind of. Well, not it doesn't suck. It's just boring, you know. F him, and he dies because why not? You know, let's just Legend of Zelda Link to the Past it right off the bat and get rid of him. And then we can go out and explore, man, and check out crazy stuff. I want to check out crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Now that we're here, why don't you both go ahead and report the results of today's training? <clears throat> Uh, so, go to the counter, talk, uh-huh, report, duh. Dude, game, come on, give us some credit. Yeah. 500 Mira! <clears throat> What's BP again? BP, BP. Battle points? What's BP? What was that one? What am I forgetting? Current rank is Junior Bracer. Okay. What's BP? Good job, you two. It seems like you were able to complete your objective without running into any major problems. Ha ha ha! Another thing to take note of is that depending on how you handle a job, you may see an increase or... Helicopter. Helicopter outside. You may see an increase or decrease in the amount of pay you receive. Hmm. On how you handle a job. Oh, bracer points. Right. Right. Oh, okay. Right. We would love to watch you play Undertale. I'm sure it's a great game. What was that one? There's too many, man. I'm putting two hours into this, and then, what if I quit this? You know, like, I don't want to quit this. I want to play it all the way to the end. How long is this game? Anyone out there, raise your hand. You know how long this game is? How long do you think it'll take me? Oh, no. How long do you think it'll take me? When you report the results of your work, especially if I stream it, it'll take longer. When you report the results of your work to the guild, pay for a mirror, yeah, yeah. You also accumulate points, which are known as BP Bracer Points. Ah, Bracer Points are an indication of your achievements as a Bracer. When these points exceed a certain value, Buka! Level up of Bracer stuff! The rank of a Junior Bracer start at 9 and go all the way up to 1. Please set your sights on... Please set, please set your sights on making first rank and work hard. You'll be switching the hot tea eventually. Your voice box will hate you later. Depends on what you do. 30 hours just for the plot. Okay. 
And apparently, I mean, these side quests can be important and some of them go away if you could do story stuff. I'm not Mr. 100% completionist guy here. I, I want to, I would like to get through this game. Um, I, we'll see. The amount of Mira and BP you receive will also be recorded in your Bracer Notebook, so please have a look sometime later on. No. All that's left now is to finalize your training. Let's head back upstairs again, shall we, stupids? I'll talk to you later, Ina. <laughs> Keep changing your name. And sorry about putting more on your plate today than usual. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Training new bracers is important for the future. And I like to keep my eyes closed all the time. I fully intend to work these two to the bone in any case. To the bone? Everyone likes their eyes closed, actually, in this game. I, I was going to make a comment about that earlier. And knowing Shara, it it'll involve the whip. Oh, corporal punishment. Let me say it again. Good work, you two. You have now officially completed the entire training course. From now on, you will be learning from your own real-world experience. Yet, yeah, let me get the fudge out of here, man. Well then. Charizard holds out two small boxes. Aren't those boxes the ones? <sighs> to answer your question, yes. These are the boxes you retrieved during today's test. You seem awfully curious to find out what's inside, Estelle. Are you saying that it's okay if we open them? That's right. Why don't the both of you have a little look inside and check out what's inside again? Sweet! All right, let's have a look. Estelle and Joshua, open the boxes. I'm starting to get a little wacky. Receive Junior Bracer Emblem. The one thing you will see in this game, the NPCs actually change dialogue a lot more than Final Fantasy games. They change almost uh, at every plot advancement. Thanks for thanks for knowing. Uh, yeah, all right. This crest is. <gasps> so does this mean that we're <clears throat> Estelle Bright, Joshua Bright? You both have the same last name, but some of the people in the town think you should date. Even though you're adopted, but that makes it okay. Uh, anyway, beginning this day at 1,500 hours, you are both hereby appointed as Junior Bracers within the Bracer Guild. From here on, you will work as members of the Bracer Guild to support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace, and uphold justice. And remember the Code of Thundera, Truth, Justice, Honor, and Loyalty, Thundercats Ho! Congratulations, you two, and welcome into the fold. Did you hear that, Joshua? We've become members of the Bracer Guild. So I'm a Bracer now, huh? I think the realization is only now just beginning to sink in. Come on, Joshua. You should be jumping for joy or running around and screaming at the top of your lungs like this. Look at us now, world! We did it! I should close that window. I was happy until you made my eardrums bleed. I hate to interrupt the celebrations, Estelle, but I need to take off now. I have some backed up work that needs my immediate attention. We understand. You have been spending a lot of extra hours working with us during the busy time for the guild. Uh, before you head out, Shara, I just want to say thanks. Likewise. I appreciate all the trouble you've gone through for us, Shara. Hey, don't mention it, dear. Training new recruits is one of uh, one of a bracer's many duties. Believe it or not, I was once in your shoes a long time ago when your father Cassius uh, trained me. So that's why you have so much respect for my dad, huh? There's actually more to it than that, but I'll save that conversation for another day. I'm done with conversations with you. As for the both of you, work hard and become full-fledged bracers early on so you can help guide those new recruits who become who come after yourself. As you can tell, I'm kind of like, all right, could you just shut could you just shut your mouth, you know, for a little bit here? I just want to get out there. Lulu, come here. Come here. 
Come here, you. Oh, come here, you. Oh! No dog cam. And in time, I hope to see you both become respectable bracers like your father. Anyway, Lulu, I'll leave you with that thought. Uh, I don't get it. Get what? This is Charizard, a.k.a. the Silver Streak. One of the most skilled young bracers we're talking about here. So why is it that she holds Dad in such high esteem? Is it because they were an item at one point in the past, Lulu, and they have a complicated history? He just seems like nothing more than a... <sighs> he just seems like nothing more than a no-good middle-aged man who is always out doing who knows what instead of being a father. Oh, oh dear. A no-good middle-aged man, huh? From your viewpoint, it... <laughs> From your viewpoint, it doesn't come as a surprise that you would see him in that fashion, Lulu Bell. Huh? Never mind. Let's hurry and head home. We should let Dad know that we qualified as Junior Bracers! Oh! Junior Bracers! Right. I can control the characters! Now, I should have been holding you during that whole time! Oh, the wife doesn't like when we roughhouse! The wife doesn't like when we roughhouse! Oh! What? Okay, that's enough. We're getting crazy. Lulu, we're getting a little crazy. Lulu, okay, calm down. What was that? Who's that? No. Look, no, you gotta look that way. No. <laughs> that way. Okay, can you calm down? You getting bored? Okay? You gonna be a good girl? Alright. Hey, thanks. It's, it's all over me now. <clears throat> you guys wanna see this? Look at this real quick. Can you see the hair? Can you see the dog hair? <coughs> oh, it's gonna go in my beverage. Oh, <coughs> oh, god damn. God, why does she shed like that? Is it a spring thing? What is it, molting or? <laughs> no, that's birds, or right? Or... So how are you guys doing in the chat real quick? I'm gonna take one minute here before I continue. Looks like Estelle is taking crazy pills. She's starting to yell. Yeah, she's got mood swings. Estelle can be a bit of a pill, but she's overall delightful. Delightful? Is she... Oh, man. I told you. <clears throat> All right. Now, we, uh, so I'm going to stop the stream now. No, I'm just kidding. I can do something finally. All right. Well... Chasing her tail, that means dogs are bored when they do that. Lulu, please, hun, I'll take you out for a WALK later. Congratulations! You two are now official members of the Bracer Guild. Oh, her way, her eyes are open. You bitch. From now on, I'm gonna be passing jobs out to you like candy. Ooh, candy. What kind of candy? Bring it on. All I have to say. I look forward to working with the guild. Hmm. Man, I'd be on cloud nine, too. Hi there, Estelle and Joshua. Oh, hi, Ridge. It looks like your training is over, isn't it? I'm humbled to know that you two are the youngest ever to pass the bracer exam. I look forward to working with you in the same capacity. Piss off, I'm not working with you, Ridge. Ourselves as well. I have to get back to work now, but if there's something you don't understand, give me a holler. So I don't check this board. Does it matter what board I check? And, okay, shut your mouth. And what about this thing over here? This, that's nothing. I guess I just come up to, all oh, right, the stupid X. Dave, don't you listen during the training? No jobs. Oh. Well, I'm supposed to report back to father. 
But no, I gotta bring him, like, food and a paper. Hurry up and come on! Who's Luke? Wait for me, Luke! Huh? Oh, it's you two. I'm so happy the, um... Oh, the dog hair. <sighs> I'm so happy the tutorial stuff's over, though, man. Oh, great! It's Estelle. Hi there, Joshua. Okay, you little twerp. What's with the... Oh, great, it's Estelle remark. And what's the big hurry? How about telling us where you're heading? You're not thinking about wandering out of town alone, are you? The roads are full of monsters, I hope you know. You're such a pest, Estelle. Don't you know there's no room for girls to be sticking their big fat noses in boys' business? <laughs> Quit acting like you're a bracer, you wanna be. Mm-hmm. How wrong you are, Luke. How incredibly wrong. You're more wrong than a fool who thinks there's better tasting milk in liberal than the milk that comes from the Perez's farm. The Perzel farm. Everybody. W what N No way! You're full of it, Estelle. In fact, as of just a few minutes ago, we qualified to become real bracers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Real bracers! Biatch! More like bracers in training, really. Don't think you should be getting on your high horse just yet, Estelle. Now, a high pony, on the other hand... Quit being a killjoy. Oh, I'm Joshua. I'm polite. Oh, oh, oh. Eh. They should have reversed the characters, maybe. I don't know. I, I, it used to be... That used to be cliche. But now this has become cliche. The chick being, like, crazy and outgoing and tomboy, boppity-bop. And the dude being, like, you know, calm and just collected. And, uh, that This really has become the new cliched kind of thing in games with, like, these types of characters... Right? You know you know what I'm saying? I hate having so many tutorials. Yeah, in a video game. Yep. Wow, you two are great. I'm so happy for the both of you. Oh, Pat, you're such a good little boy. Unlike that smart aleck and cynical brat you call a friend. Oh, that, that isn't fair. I was supposed to become a bracer first. I can accept that Joshua became a bracer before me, but... Getting passed by the likes of Estelle? <gasps> What's the likes of Estelle supposed to mean? Just so you know, you can't even be a bracer until you're 16 years old. Get it? Only mature people allowed. And that means no little kids who are still going to Sunday school. I don't know how I should be... I don't know how I should put this, Estelle, but Sunday school is dying to have you back. You'd better watch out, Estelle. I'm going to train at my secret base, and before you know it, I'm going to be a bracer, too. <clears throat> By the time the tutorials are over, I usually don't want to play anymore for that day. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of plowing through. I had a feeling this was going to happen, and uh, well, it's been two hours and 15 minutes since I started now. I'm going to train at my secret base and boppity bop. Come on, Pat, let's go. Uh, all right, I'm coming. See you later, guys. That boy, Luke, he's always trying to pick a fight with me. I wonder if he just plain hates me or something. Rather, I think it's the exact opposite. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Don't worry about it. It's just a boy thing. At any rate, what do you think Luke meant when he said secret base? I don't know why, but somehow it makes me a bit curious. I know exactly what you mean. A secret base sounds really intriguing. <clears throat> the pure heart of a young child can be so inspiring at times. Their backgrounds really get fleshed out later. You'll understand why they're like they are. Hmm. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother Todd. That's not really what I meant by curious. Hey, have we been in here? Oh, oh what did it say? Uh, general goods. Hey! How you doing? Oh, in the market for new shoes? Now that you mention it, there are, are there any new ones in stock? You know, like the newest Stregas. Unbelievable. You've actually already forgotten why we came here to begin with? 
We're not here to shop. We're supposed to be buying a copy of the Liberal News for Dad, right? Ah, uh, of course! Huh, you've always been a big collector of those shoes, haven't you, Estelle? I'm afraid that the new Stregas aren't even out yet. I do, however, have some copies of the Liberal News, and if that's what you've come after. Alright, I'll take a copy then. That comes to a hundred Mira, please. I know my dad always buys a copy of this magazine, <clears throat> but does it really sell that well? It sure does. The Liberal News has an excellent reporter and camera woman who have done a great job reporting the latest and most reliable news. Who cares? They're even supposed to have a running story related to Queen Alicia's birthday celebration. Ooh, I want to meet Queen Alicia. Alicia, Alicia, yeah. I want to meet Queen Alicia. I hope she is a stone cold bitch. But enough about that. Why don't you tell me how you did today? Did you make it as bracers? Today was your last day of training, wasn't it? Yep, everything went smoothly, too. But how did you know about all that, Mr. Rignon? <laughs> in a certain sense, both of you both you and Joshua are like celebrities here in, in Roland. I tend to hear a lot from customers co uh, that come through here. Yeah, expensive newspaper. I shouldn't have expected anything less from Roland. The grape, the grapevine around here is seriously something to be reckoned with. No kidding. The women here especially love the gossip. Uh, one more thing before you go. This gift is my way of saying congratulations. It's a free sample item I received with my shipment of goods, but uh, I don't hold the free part against me. What's this supposed to be for? There's a ton of blank pages. It's a recipe book, isn't it? You got it. When you, when you get hurt fighting, if you just limit yourselves to healing bombs all the time, it's going to cut pretty deep into your wallets. This is where a recipe, a recipe book comes into play. If you eat food to recover your strength instead, it's basically free. Assuming you have all the ingredients anyway. So if you eat something new, write down what's in it and you'll have lots of recipes in no time. So how about we try this out? Go ahead and eat this cookie, Estelle. Well, I have made it a personal rule to never turn down sweets. Hmm. Basically, all you have to do is eat the food to learn the recipe. It's as simple as that. As you're traveling around, you should eat whatever food you come across that you haven't had an opportunity to try before. Well, that sounds pretty convenient. Um... It's not that I don't like cooking and all, it's just that I never seem to get any better. I'd sure love to be able to increase my repertoire and really shock my dad's taste buds for once in my life. That's the spirit. And in passing, if you're in need of any ingredients, I'd be delighted to service your cooking needs. You really know how to solicit your customers, Mr. Arinion. Thank you for the recipe book. We'll put this to good use. Eating the recommended dish at restaurants or using to-go meals adds the recipe to the recipe book. By selecting the recipe book, all learned recipes will be displayed. As long as all the necessary ingredients are available, the food can be made. There are two types of foods. Sit-down meals, which must be eaten on the spot, and the to-go meals, which can be carried as items. Sit-down meals cannot be carried as items. Ingredients used for cooking can be bought at a store or acquired from monsters. What? What is this about? Hey, uh, hey, Brother Todd. You seem to know what you're doing. Brother Todd, what the hell is this shit about? Ugh. Head is starting to hurt a little bit. Can we just chill out a little? I just want to see the queen be a bitch. So, I mean... <sighs> Heals 200. How much? Uh, there's my Mira. That's a lot of Mira, bruh. 
I should have... I should have my wife play this a little. She can level grind for me. I'll, I'll make her I'll make her do that part. Hey Ty, sit here for three hours and just level up. Goodbye. Why so why is this fresh milk so great? Newly laid eggs. Used in maple cookie. Cut a me. I mean, it's not that much, right? Well, <clears throat> quicker way to buy EP charge uh, inventory none. Hmm. That's like uh, probably best not to. Eating cooked food is much better than potions or healing whatever you call them. Yeah. Hmm. Trade Earth Sepith for Mira. Uh, we probably don't want to do this ever. I mean, this is this seems like if you're desperate kind of a thing, maybe. Unless, I guess you can farm it at some... I bet you can farm it at some point, and... I don't know, whatever. After you get, like, a megaton of it or something like that. But I feel like we shouldn't do this for a while, right? Alright. <laughs> I'm so glad that Rinyan's store has finally got on track. <clears throat> It seems as though it has become much easier to get products since he started having them brought in by airliner. Ever since the first orb orbments were invented, the world has become a much easier place to live in. I feel like there's not a lot of secrets to find. I can't jump down, huh? Yeah, I wish we had a jump button. Hey, some people were over here. Yeah. I'm so distressed. He's my type, and I'd like to accept his proposal. But this place is not my ideal situation. Um, is the place or whatever really that important? Of course it is! This could be the memory of a lifetime. It may be the place that comes to my mind when I'm an old grandma and lying on my deathbed. I just can't accept an alleyway like this as being that place. <laughs> I guess this type of thing can only be understood by those involved. <clears throat> Lulu, <coughs> behave. I've confessed to her several. I've confessed to her several times since this morning, but I can't get her to accept my love. It doesn't seem like she hates me or anything. What am I doing wrong? Lulu, calm down. Uh, oh, wait. Let's go back in there. Do you think there's... I'm not even reading this now. What? Okay. Shut up, old guy! I thought maybe I could do so Yeah. Yeah, we, we can't. We have to battle and... I don't think we need to get crazy yet, anyway. Um, need to learn the lay of the land here. Uh, oh, yeah, let's go back in here. So. Mm, expensive, too. Uh, inventory, too. Armor X expensive. So I'm looking at inventory stuff here. Uh, prevents poison. Prevents blind. I wish I could equip it immediately. That's always nice. Saves you a little time. You know what I'm talking about. K. 
Can you? I don't think so. Optimum? Do we... No. Man. Come on, it saves time, game. I don't think I need to buy anything else. Hello there, Joshua and Estelle. Stella, listen to this! I finally became a bracer! My goodness, is that true? And Joshua too? Yes, ma'am, that's right. Congratulations to the both of you. You did wonderfully. <laughs> but one thing, Estelle. You shouldn't be proud just because you became a bracer. This is just the starting point. I, I understand that. The two of you will experience a lot of things as bracers. And I hope that I can be proud of the fact that this is the path you uh, chose in the coming years. <laughs> but enough about my feelings. Please work hard and good luck. There you go. I think... Wait, where... I need to get food, though. Right, guys? Where's that food? I, that's why I'm still here. I'm kind of looking. Enter the sewers. Oh. Mm. Baddies? Hey, maybe we can level grind here. And we can. So, I mean, could I just, you know, tap a tap a, make it a little quicker, or... In uh, in battles like this, I mean, right? If you want it, we want to level grind for a while. You know how it is. So th this will do. We don't have to be fancy for these types of enemies. We'll gain CP and everything will be cool. Seems like it. We're good to go. So my thoughts of this game seems fine. Seems good. Doesn't seem too complicated. I feel like I don't. I I have a somewhat of a grasp. Turn back that way. Is that a back attack? Eh, I don't know. Uh, I think we can, though. I, maybe I didn't do it right. I feel like I have a grasp, but prob- Oh, yeah, right. Oh, you see? That's pro That's the problem with the level grinding. We have to do, um... The arts for certain enemies. These moths. Love the, uh, auto battle, though, right? Breath of Fire. The fire had that auto battle. It was pretty awesome. I got a crisp onion. Oh yeah, what about that food eating stuff thing? Oh. Yeah, I'm used to my that's triangle. So I'm thinking menu. Um Is that just a picture? <laughs> All right. So what the hell do I even do with this stuff? Yeah. yeah, you're watching some of my Breath of Fire stuff. Yeah. I played the first two games. I've been wanting to play three, four. Recipe book. So this heals uh, uh, 80 HP, and it shows it shows you and what you need to. Okay, it can be. I guess that's useful. This seems like a lot of. Whoa, look at all that monster guide. Oh hell no! I, it's it's fine that they do this. Estelle can use the ingredients uh, to cook. How? How, though? And these are these are ingredients, right? This stuff right here, like this potato and the onion, the carrot, sugar. Lulu, behave, please. Weapons, armor. Healing. 
all. Here, go back to all. I'm gonna hit that button constantly by accident. Oh, that's how you cycle to all. Okay. Oh, that's gotta be a back attack. Yeah, preemptive. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here after this battle. Oh, you know what? Let's see how... Let's run. Okay, that seems simple. Party fled. No penalty. They, the thing's blinking. Alright, that's fine. I just wanted to see. So, okay, we don't have to be down here. Yule pissed me off. I didn't understand what the fuck was going on with her. You oh, you're talking about Final Fantasy 13. Hey, didn't you read the rules? We're not allowed to talk about that trilogy in here. Okay, now I'm supposed I got the paper. Okay, that oh, the mayor's residence. Okay. I want that treasure. <laughs> Get it. That's the mayor, Mayor Claw Mayor Claus. Compared to other cities, Roland is certainly rural with no district features. However, I love this city. There's just something warm and inviting about Roland. I want to build a city that gives importance to that atmosphere. tried <laughs> open the I wonder can I open them eventually I have no idea if they're just for show walking around sometimes I feel is too fast but I'm not gonna use the directionals and do it this way because I don't know maybe I should no, then it's t then it is too slow something about the movement it's good, but it's not perfect. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like it zooms a little too fast sometimes. Do I make any sense? The missus sometimes helps me with my jobs around the house. On top of that, she treats me like I'm a part of the family. She even took me out to eat the other day. I couldn't be happier. I feel so guilty that I actually steal. What a horrible maid. The wine cellar, ho, ho, ho. Lita takes care of all the housework, but I feel a little awkward about it and often end up doing some of it myself. I'm sure it's because I used to do it all myself before coming to uh, live at this house. It appears like I'm taking Lita's job away, so I wonder if I'm causing her any trouble. Do, 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 do. Hey, you know what uh, TV show I'm watching? <laughs> Just gonna talk about that. Uh, for the second time around, I watched it uh, once all the way through, you know, all of its seasons. And uh, I'm doing it again. It, it's a good show. Totally calls for it. Maybe some of you haven't even seen it. Uh, pretty popular. Sopranos. Yeah, Sopranos, of course. Right. I'm watching that one again. Ty says, oh, you're watching The Sopranos again? <sighs> Now I'm going to be craving pasta all the time, and you're going to be put into this even more Italian uh, uh, mindset that you are. For those of you who don't know, I'm Italian and Irish. So, uh, yeah. Oh, this is the church. This is the chapel. What's that noise outside? One sec, guys. I'm actually going to get up. That noise is pissing me off. So Ty said, now I'm going to be craving pots, uh, pasta. Now you're going to be wanting to cap somebody. Or no, wait, that's, not, that's the wrong... Uh, mm. You're going to be wanting to... Uh, yeah. Italian gangsters. I'm going to cap them. Right, Lulu? 
Uh, but she says, I'm going to be acting extra Italian now while I'm watching this. I think she's wrong. Ty, are you still in here? I don't think she is. Estelle, you seem to be rather cheerful today. Did something wonderful happen in your life? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm aware of that show's coming back, too. I'm a big fan of that, yeah. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Mm, joyous occasions are indeed a wonderful thing. But it is at times like these when uh, things go well that we should gird up our loins for the trials that lie ahead. Oh, goddess adio adios of the firement, please guide these unseasoned you. What the shit? A adios? Adios? I'm a newly assigned sister to this chapel. Yeah, I don't know about what religion stuff's going on in this game's universe. I was recently transferred from the Roland, from the royal city to Roland. This place is surrounded by greenery, and everyone in town is so kind. I think I'm going to enjoy it here. Father Divine. Father Divine is a bit strict, but he is someone that I can respect a lot. And uh, very fast tran. Yeah, that's a little gripe. The transitions are fast. Too fast there. That's like... Yeah, like, what's wrong with that? I like when you approach... I was complaining about this while streaming yesterday. Anima. Chain of memory. Uh, I like when you approach something that tells you, Hey, this is the church, bruh. Thank you, bruh. Get the pigeons! It seems like it's gonna take a bit longer for me to get the lumber together for this order. I must work hard to get my father-in-law to acknowledge me for my wife's sake. Yeah, whack. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm gonna whack someone. <laughs> that's right. Mm, so, okay, man. I feel like there's one place I haven't been in here. The Bracers Guild. The Arms Place. General goods. We've done all. We've done all that. Estelle, Joshua, am I glad I found you two? Oh, hi, Ina. Is something wrong? You seem to be in quite a hurry. We've got a bit of a problem. Is your father at home today? Uh, yes, he is. He said something about having to sort out a bunch of documents. But what's going on? You know uh, Luke and Pat, right? Uh, sure we do. In fact, we saw them not that long ago. What's wrong? Are they in some sort of trouble? I don't know how to say this, but... I just heard from Uni that Luke and Pat ran off to the tower that lies on the northern outskirts of Roland. You mean the Tower of Esmalaz? Isn't that the place... Isn't that place supposed to be a breeding ground for monsters? That's what they say. Okay, now I'm finally getting into this game. You know why? Because they're sending me off to do something at a place. Finally. Unfortunately, at the moment, Charizard is out is is out on other bracer business. So I want to ask your father to bring the boys home safely. I need a break. What are you talking about? There's no time for that. Joshua and I will have to go after them and bring them back ourselves. I don't know if that's such a good idea. The two of you only just qualified to be Junior Bracers today. With all due respect, I believe that Estelle's judgment is correct in this situation. If the two of us hurry, we may be able to catch up with the boys before they reach the tower. I understand. I will take the responsibility for whatever happens. As an emergency request from the Bracer Guild, I ask that you lose no time in bringing about the safe return of these children. Roger that. Understood. Yeah, come in. Come in! No one cares that your hair is all messed up. Ty's home sick today. She took a day off because she's been having uh, migraine stuff. Come on in! Lulu, come here. What movie? Hey, come here. Yeah, get, get, you gotta scrunch in here because the camera's limited. That's her Decepticon shirt. 
My wife has a headache, so she doesn't have her face on, or whatever the hell chicks say. <laughs> you know, you know women, right? Any women in here? Yeah. Hey, Lulu. Lulu. Yeah, do I take her out? Uh, yeah, maybe. I've only been streaming. I took her out before I started streaming, so oh, yeah, she... it hasn't been that long, so... If well, two hours and 42 minutes. Ty, how... You, I, you were watching, but when did you check out? Um, I just made a little bit of rice, like, 40 minutes ago, and I'm gonna eat, so I might take a nap. Here, hold on. What? I'm gonna take a nap. I made some rice, like, 20 minutes ago. You made some rice 20 minutes ago? Mm-hmm. And you ate it? No, I'm about to eat. And then take a nap? Yeah. <laughs> awesome! That's what that's what Ty's up to. That's what's going on. With Ty, me. too bad. I think you stopped watching because after all the talky talky, then it got interesting. Did it? Like the story? Yeah, it's just I don't know. I feel like we're gonna do like a little little minor thing, and that's gonna lead to like the big bigger thing. crazier things. It's kind of like a gradual thing. Where's Where's Brother Todd? Brother Brother Todd. Brother Todd. Brother Todd. Did you get? He's one of the knowledge knowledgeable watchers. Brother Todd, is, is is shit gonna get crazy? Did you get, um, the paper for your dad? Yeah, but didn't you want something else? I can't find the, uh... She's supposed to make it. No, There's I, cooking in this game. Uh, I'm supposed to do something with food. The hey, SMLS Tower... Todd? Hello. Is, is shit about to get crazy in the game? Yeah. The SMLS Tower can be reached by taking the western <laughs> path at the... <coughs> at the junction along the Malga Trail. You can get to the Malga Trail through Roland's Northwest Gate. I'll be on standby. I'll she's fine. I'll be on standby at the guild. So if you're running into any trouble, you know where to find me. It gets deep. Yeah, I'm excited. All right. I'll see. It's gonna get deep. So Ty, say goodbye and uh, Bye. Why, Ty, why'd you get this game for me? Um, because it's an RPG that was kind of tactics-y. So start really, again? It's an RPG. I know you really like um, Final Fantasy Tactics, so I got that. And it was on your wish list, and it looked like something that you might like. It was on my wish list? Your Steam wish list under Dave the Usher. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, I need to take some... Hey, some do you want to make a picture of... Uh of uh peach mango iced tea yeah i'll do it because my my voice is i know hoarse. you are really going for it thank you so much yeah i just have migraine in the past couple days so but thank you i'll make you some peach ice yeah thanks <laughs> you can leave them in here come here buddy come here, buddy boy yeah you might need to take the dog out Nah. Bailey, we're gonna be streaming a little more here. What do you think, baby? Yeah? Oh no, buddy boy! Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Bailey, what do you think of the story so far? Bailey's into it, man. Bailey's into it. Good dog. How you doing, buddy? This is our first real job. Let's get back to it here. Come on, Joshua. We don't have any time to lose. All right. I'm right behind you. Northwest gate, boppity bop. Um, yeah, so wait, maybe I think I have been to all the places then in town and he wants food and maybe I have to make it up. That whole food thing seems, I'm a little turned off with that whole customized food stuff, but I think it could be useful. I don't wanna sit here during a stream and do that kind of stuff. I don't like recording that kind of stuff. I really, I don't. Um, I've, you know, I've always, I don't know what I'm saying. We've been to the, have we been to the bar? Are we, yeah, yeah, we've been to the bar. Really? You're completely finished with your training? Yeah. Yay. Who, who, who'd say yay? Yay. We finally finished, Elisa. I am officially a real bracer. The food thing's useful for supplementing your normal consumables. Yeah, I can see that. Well, congratulations, Estelle. You've always wanted to be a bracer ever since you were a kid, haven't you, Estelle? Need a health potion? Just cook a meatball. Ooh, meatballs. Turkey meatballs? What kind of meatball? What are we talking about here? 
I'm an old fan of Scorch and you and the others, by the way. The old, the old, uh, the Brat Pack. Us Brat Pack, me, Scorch A2, Shadow Zack, Batman 9502. But don't Bracers have a lot of dangerous jobs? Yeah, something like that. Joshua, Estelle, don't overdo it and watch out for each other. Estella has this tendency to get in over her head. That's a very good observation, Elisa. The only problem is that Estelle doesn't realize this herself. Hm, I'm standing right here, you guys! Joshua and I just care about you, Estelle, that's all. Anyway, don't get full of yourselves and end up getting hurt, okay? Okay, alright already, enough of the talking. But then again, Dave, you're the one instigating the talking! So should I eat this? That's, a, that's expensive. Uh. Why is that? Heals 100 HP, movement 1. Heals 250 HP, cures poison. Why is that less expensive? Is the move plus 1 that more valuable? Fried in olive oil and lightly salted. Very popular. Carmine... Carmine... Carmine Eye? Herbal flavored soup and ingredients. Good for the eyes. Heals 100 HP. Cures blind. Well, that's pretty much my budget, I guess, huh? <clears throat> yeah, let's go. I wish there was a little, like, indicator telling me. Well, I mean, was it northwest? Uh, the Malga Trail is through the northwest gate. That's the smaller exit next to the landing port. I, I know already. North. West. Maybe I don't understand something there. Oh, what's in here? Ooh, what's this? We haven't been in here. My son Pat has been gone since this morning. I hope he's not getting into any trouble with Luke. I'm worried about what he's up to. <laughs> but the Ma doesn't know? Thanks to the airliners in recent days, even Roland has been able to get a good selection of books. And thanks to that, I find myself compelled to buy a new one each time I head to the store. But I got yelled at by my wife for getting so many. So many, I should cut back a bit. I've only got to the first chapter of this novel, so if you want, I'll give it to you. Okay. Hmm. I just can't find the book I'm looking for. Yeah, you know, sometimes it takes a while to find a good show. Like, I just finished up, uh, I like to talk about little stuff I'm doing, personally. <laughs> I can't think you guys know that. Uh, like, I just watched, I like a good show. And I just finished, for the first time, all current seasons of uh, Bates Hotel, which I highly recommend, by the way, on A&E. That's a good one, man. That's a really good show. So then I wanted something else, something new, but I don't know. I decided to go with something familiar again, and I went back to watch The Sopranos for the second time. You can't go wrong with that show, dude. You know? First time, second time, third time. I like a good show, though, to watch. Just when I thought Luke had come home, but he he took off the out through the door again. I told that boy that dinner was almost ready, too. That boy is always running around like his pants are on fire. He just can't sit still for two minutes. Man, transitions are crazy when you're... So, Northwest is not this way? The Northwest Gate... What, am I brain farting here? Like... Uh... Oh, what is this? Oh, whoa! Look what... Man, that... Isn't that... Uh, I was just gonna do this, but for some reason, I hit R2. Look at that, man. What's L2 do? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, the... Uh... I think I hit L2 before. I recall the the far away map. 
yeah, you can see... Well, which way is north? But Northwest Trail? Oh, oh wow! And it, the Bracers Guild, lodgings, horrible factory, the church, various shops. Oh, that's very L2 and R2. You just became very convenient in this game. Can I... Oh, look at that. You can, um... See? So, I want to go to the Malga Trail. So, it's kind of like, eh, let's just, uh... Yeah. That's so convenient. I'm digging that, I guess, huh? This, you know, I feel like I've heard a theme like this before a million times, and I say that in a good way. I'm not saying that's bad, but, you know, you've heard this, but of course you haven't, you, but you've heard something like this before. You know, I never knew you could do that, yeah? Oh! So, uh, I'm a little... I, I, I up my defense. This is a smidgen for one of them, and I put on something that protects against the poison, because if anyone's going to use a status ailment on you, it's going to be poison first, I figure. Might as well, you know, help that out. Whatever. Beast flesh. I feel, though, uh... While I play, I might neglect certain things. So, I don't know. Uh, oh, look at the poison flower thing. Hey, come here, you wanna do a battle? Thanks for the stuff. Here, come here, do this battle. You know, the mouse actually is uh, not that bad. Here, come, come in here. I have to see you do the battle. Come here. Come here, you. You know what I find? Oh, what are you trying to do? And then what? Oh. Yeah, the movings, I find it kind of a little strange, you know? I'm probably gonna neglect some things I was just saying. Your CP is almost 100, so that means you can do the super attack thing. I have heard this theme in Grandia 2, Chrono Trigger. Here, walk up. Walk up a bit. Seems pretty straightforward. Oh, and hit uh, L uh, R2. You want to go to the mine. It's up that way. Now hit L2. And just kind of shows you the whole pathway. Cool. Uh, circle back out. Yeah. Thanks for the. Let me know if you need. Thanks for the uh, mango peach iced tea. Uh, nope. Better find her. Did you take her out? These little creatures. You know what I love about RPGs is what are we going to be seeing in regards to how enemies look? I, I like creative uh, enemies. I do I, I have to use my mouse for this part, I think. Ooh. 
I forget, I kind of forget about the bonus stuff. <clears throat> do it, do it. Yep, there you go. <clears throat> How do I cancel out that? How do I prevent them again from their bonuses? Eh. Oh boy. S breaks can be used as combo breakers, so you can take an action before triggering it to get two actions interrupting. Mm, I'm a little lost on the whole thing. Yeah, on that S break stuff, I got like lost. Combo breakers, huh? I don't know. Here I come. I'll just need to, uh, I mean, off the clock, I'll, like, level grind, practice up a bit, get familiar with it. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's getting hard here now. I think you need to be away from these dudes. buddy boy oh man it's almost six so yeah yeah i'm definitely gonna improve my skills a little bit so then i can stream again uh i hope to stream saturday or sunday it'll probably be sunday more of this game but uh my wife and i had something else in mind We'll see. Hey, you do a hundred of these battles, you're probably gonna get good at it. Die! Legend of Dragoon is another game you want to... Yeah, it's on my list. There's, there's a lot of PlayStation 1 uh, RPGs on my list, let me tell you. A lot. I have noticed uh, the quality uh, of Twitch. I don't know if some of you see uh, the quality get a little blurry. <clears throat> Fortunately, I'm recording this as well. So I'm going to upload the really good quality uh, videos on my YouTube account. If you've missed some of this, like I've said, you can see it in its entirety on my YouTube, Dave the Usher page. Oops. Ooh, a chest. Reviving bomb. Cool. Play around with the camera, man. Don't miss stuff. <clears throat> Uh-oh. I feel like this could be a tricky one. 
Ooh, let's do dual strike. Miss! Fuck. Hmm. Oh. Whoa, serious music. Have I ever done a walkthrough of Xeno Gears now? That's on the list too. We need to run. assume that you leave the screen, you come back into the screen, and these enemies um, revive. You know, respawn. Both of them down, but not out. Pisses me off. <clears throat> Attack the others, dude. Eh. Someone's out of EP. K Kitty kick. They're flying cats. <coughs> Cover the EP again. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to practice some of these battles. I don't know. I'm kind of digging it, you know. <clears throat> talking too long. <clears throat> so let's see. Ah, oh, not in range? Oh no. Damn it! <clears throat> Am I supposed to take these stupid things out? On the edge of the radar. Nice. Yeah, that thing's pretty powerful. Oh, gah. <clears throat> Alright, finish this thing off. Damn it. Okay. <clears throat> well, I won. We're good to go. Stellar and taunt. Provoke. All right, nice. Wonder how much further we'll find out. The Esmelis Tower. I don't know, there's something in front of me, and there's the Malga Mine over there. Yeah. I wanna- Oh, it's just a sign. Hmm. Roland, Malga Mine. 
be... Ooh, the Esmelis Tower. Beware of monsters, though. Probably, we probably should not go there, dude. And there's that dead end. How about a chest? Yeah, okay, okay. Button stuck. I'm a little... Okay, as you can see, I'm being a little cautious right now, because... Oh, dude! I... It's a surprise attack. Yeah, you see, I'm still a little unfamiliar with a couple things. How did my HP get filled up all the way? I'm sure like, it's just very apparent and obvious. Oh, you also get fully healed on level ups. Did I just level up? I didn't even recall. I don't know. I'm distracted. Look at this weird, funky little thing. Yeah, some of these enemies are, like, practically invisible. Definitely on purpose. After I'm done streaming, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna up and down, up and down this path here. Because I'm probably not gonna go in too much further. But I'm gonna do some battles and try out some things. And you know, you know what I do. Oh, yeah, these little... These little bugs, man. Sneak up on ya. But yeah, I dig this game a lot, actually. It's good. I'm anxious to see uh, the turmoil and the troubles. I mean, right now, this is just whatever stuff. This little, our little problem, we have to rescue the kids. Okay. Oh, crap. I kind of like the urgent music. Being a little fast and... That thing's not dead? Oh, crap. Where's the revive thing? how running is uh, fairly easy. Something I haven't thought about. Can I? I can't use my skills or that kind of stuff out of battle. Or can I? I can. Well, that's interesting. Do, I don't have any life potions, though. Could have sworn I had a life potion or something somewhere. Gotta familiarize myself. All this stuff, this cooking stuff. My books. I think I think this calls for a tactical retreat right now. I let's see about the respawning, which could be bad right now. Yeah, yeah, they're back. They're there. Sometimes if you go too fast, it depends. Oh, watch out, kitty. Flying kitty. It gets a little blurry sometimes. I think they do that on purpose so you can't really see the enemies coming at you at all. Where the hell do we go to recover? Um... the 
other map. Give me the other information. Where's the inn? And the guild. Why aren't the other places listed? Yeah, Ma Malga Trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of these. I can rest at one of these. General goods. Global factory. The bar. Ooh, you know, maybe I should uh, have myself some of that food or whatever. Oops. Well, you know what? I might just check this out later. I don't think I saved yet either. You know what, guys? After I stop, I'm going to familiarize myself more with the game, you know? Um, I think for my first time ever playing this, you know, I think I kind of took on the gist of it. Um... I bet I could polish myself up and be more sufficient. Yeah, let's save. I bet I could be more sufficient um, in the battles and boppity bop and yeah. I'm sure that that'll work out. That'll be fine. It's a good thing we're saving here, man. Three hours and twelve minutes. So yeah, you know I think I am gonna call it a wrap for the stream right here. Uh, Bailey, what do you think of this game? Pretty good. Can you wave to everybody at home? Hello. Good stuff. It's been a good stream. It's already 6 o'clock here uh, in my neck of the woods. Uh, this game, The Legend of Heroes Trails <laughs> Trails in the Sky, is pretty nice. I'm going to be streaming it again, uh, possibly Sunday. Once again, if you missed any of the stream, you can see it in its entirety. I'm going to upload it to my Dave the Usher YouTube channel. Thanks for all the help, everyone, uh, with the game. And just thanks for comments in general. And uh, yeah, man, good stuff. Don't forget about my social media stuff, all those links, my Patreon, all that stuff is in the video description below on YouTube or on the bottom of my Twitch page and all that, yada yada. So, uh, that'll do, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Goodbye.